All right, let's try it out. This is cute space dino deck building roguelike. Here we go. Oh, I love the pixel art so far. Yes. Cobalt active terminal loading personality core. Well, dang, our personality is corrupted. Too much Mario Maker. Too many troll levels. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yay. We're patched. Encrypting memory bank. Cat, wait, what? Cat.exe? What? <laughs> oh, shit. Cat.exe, I'm in. <laughs> uh, um. <laughs> I already hate the game. Uh, I'd run cat.exe. <laughs> Hello? Hey, wake up. Oh yeah, here are the space dinos, yes. <laughs> uh, ugh, my head. <laughs> okay, good, your vitals seem stable. What's happening? Oh, are we like waking up on our space journey? A classic space trope, Dizzy. Yes, we'd be, uh, we'll do Mario Maker 1 again eventually. Is that hack a cat? Uh, Mario Maker 1 is gone, but we have some downloaded levels still. Um, I had to wake you all up from cryo sleep early. There wasn't enough time to fully restore your memories. My memories? I needed those. <laughs> oh, this is going to be cute, isn't it? Uh, I assume. Uh, sorry, I had no choice. The command terminal will only respond to meat-based life forms. And there's a ship off the bow powering up their weapons. Everyone to the bridge now. Oh, now we're into it. All right. This is our little tutorial. Play cards to outwit your opponent. You draw five cards each turn. So we got cards. Uh, cards, cards cost energy. A card's energy is shown in the top left, like the one here. So all of our uh, cards cost one. And I assume the three is our energy, and we have five cards in our deck. No cards in our other piles, probably discard or maybe remove from the game pile. Um, okay, you get three energy each turn, use it or lose it. Energy doesn't last between turns. All right, that's normal. Uh, attack your enemy with attack cards. We have our basic shot. We have a multi shot. I did it. Uh, you can always see what an enemy is planning to do. Okay, so just like say the spire, you can see incoming damage. Enemy intent. Um, enemy intends to attack you for one damage. Click to continue. Let's block their attack with some shield. Okay, so it's like spaceship slay the spire with cute dinos. Uh, let's block their attack with some shield. All right, so we can use our block card. Yep. Oh yeah, they're going to our discard pile over here. Um, you still got one energy. Play the rest of this turn out yourself. Uh, so we can multi-shot for two damage. Regular attack for, wait, basic shot for one or shield surge. Um, what does this do? Block up to one incoming damage and we get a temporary shield. Goes away at the start of next turn. Oh. Um, I don't know what the difference is between the all the, it feels like the other one should last longer or something. Anyway, multi-shot! So it, we've heard it like three little notches or whatever. Um, right, end turn. Uh, yikes, that's a big attack. Click to continue. Okay, it's hitting us for five. Where's our HP? Uh, we can use evade to dodge evade to dodge attacks. It's Stark Souls. Wait, <laughs> we can use evade to dodge attacks. Play this card again to gain one evade. Basic dodge. Uh, status is a shun bullet or strip. Some of passive. I'll use the resource. Evade is a status you use to move around. What? Evade is a status you use to move around. Spend one evade to dodge the shot. Any evade you don't use will What? How do we dodge it? Oh, we. Oh! I push this. Wait, just. The ship moves! <laughs> we play cards to move the ship out of the way. Well, that's different. That's nifty. Uh, you got the basics. You can always hover over cards. Good luck. Thank you, cat.exe. <laughs> so we literally sidestep the attack. That's cool. Cannon. Missile bay. Wing. Hull. All right, so we have 12 hull. We 
no shields. I guess the four bars here are the shields. So these got this other ship has three of its shield removed. <laughs> Dark Souls all over. FTL is so hard. I was thinking about trying FTL. This looks cool so far, so we can um, dodge stuff by moving the ship. I like that. It's like positional. Um, okay, so now we can play this one to attack and draw two cards. So let's do one damage, draw some cards, and lunge! Insta wait, instantly move two spaces to the right. Okay, we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. Scramble? Can't play it. Uh, another shot. Sure. Maybe block shot. Okay, I just did some damage to it. Got him! Yeah, Dizzy, we got him! <laughs> Love these characters. Tails a lot better with moths. I feel like most games, it's like you play them normally first, and then as you get deeper and deeper into it, it's like, I want new stuff, and then you start busting out the moths. Ooh, I'm looking at the background. Space backgrounds. Um, let's see. Uh, we can get some. What's the difference? I gotta try shield surge to figure out what this, like, temp shield is. Oh, I see. We have the regular shield and then this added an extra one. Okay. Multi shot. Basic shot. All right. No full damage. Oh, it looks like it's going to use. Oh, a status effect on itself, so maybe it'll buff itself. Uh, let's draw a shot and see if we can get any better attacks. Yeah, we got multi shot. Basic shot. Kaboom! All right, we defeated our first spaceship. Why are we getting attacked? What's going on? Why is our leader cat.exe? <laughs> or is that like the computer? Oh, that's the, that's the ship's computer. <laughs> the ship's computer. Okay, um, pick an artifact. Artifacts are held by the ship's crew and change the rules of combat. You can have multiple on each crewmate. Warp prep. Uh, gain one shield and one evade on the first turn. So we can, oh, just on the very first turn, we get a free evade. Cool. Where is your energy? Um, it was in the bottom left. I'll point it out when we get into another one again. Once you get good at a game, you get the googly eye mod. Yes. <laughs> if you dodge too much, will you miss your shot? I think so. That's what I. That's why I didn't want to do it a lot. We'll have to figure that out. Um, okay, so we can pick one of three cards here. We have just a regular old shield, though we got that temp shield. Uh, scramble lets you move left or right. Oh, but it costs one per evade move? Oh, it costs one evade per move. Could you just move once with it though? Because it says the energy is two. Uh, whiplash, what is this? Instantly move two spaces to the left and attack and then move right. Whoa, so we're definitely going to have some like positional aspect to this game. That sounds cool. Let's get whiplash. We can like come in and go pew pew and then leave. Evade is banked between turns. Oh, cool. Yes, this is this is a deck building road like with space dinos, pixel art. Um, okay, I'm starting to remember. Right, the cobalt, the hyperdrive. Yeah, you blew it up. Maybe I vaguely remember pushing a button and then the white light. Yeah, you blew it up. <laughs> Guys, shut! Wait, the, the ship's computer just said, guys, shut up. What the heck? Uh, you have this argument every loop? I've heard it 517 times now? Wait, I wonder if by loop, are they caught in a time loop? Or some other type of loop? <laughs> Fine. Alright, we've got the coordinates of the cobalt programmed in. Let's get there and stop the time. It is a time loop. Oh, that's why it's like, okay, that's the roguelike storyline tie-in, so we're caught in a time loop. And so every time we, we fail, we restart. Uh, see, Riggs remembers, usually she's the last one. I'm improving. <laughs> I'm improving. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, all right, and here is our classic branching map. Do we want a question mark? An unknown energy signature. It's sure to be something interesting. Or an enemy encounter to get cards. I mean, we gotta try. Ooh, but there's an elite thingy thing over here. Whereas if we go to this path, we won't be able to go there. I wanna, 
unusually strong enemy encounter. Let's go get bodied by the unusually strong encounter. Uh, but let's maybe do some regular fights, then go to the repair yard, and then go there. So let's start here. <laughs> While true loop. Uh, let's do a prediction. Will we... Let's see, at the end, it looks... This looks like an act... Like act one, and there's a boss at the end, an unknown powerful entity. Will we defeat the first boss on this run? There we go. And let's start this way. All right. Uh, this enemy is going to launch an object. Be careful, we don't know what it is yet. Uh, this is a WSP55 Stinger drone. And yeah, here's our, oh, I'm sorry. The energy's behind my face. I need to go somewhere else for this game. The energy is right there. Um. I don't know where to go for this game. Maybe I could just go here or something. Yeah, that's probably fine, right? If I block the cards, I'm sorry. Be the enemy. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I don't know. How about this? Does it matter how many cards are in my deck? I'm kind of blocking it, kind of not right here. This is probably fine, right? Carl.exe! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, so um, for anybody just coming in, we are just starting this game. We are this ship, these are our cards, we have three energy, we've got to defeat the other ship. Um, and there's something cool you can do, so one damage is coming in right here. But, let's see, what does Scramble do? Oh, let's just move a bunch. I can just use basic dodge and like move the ship over, boom, and now we're sidestepping their attack. That's fun. Oh, what did Whiplash do again? Two to the left, attack, and then one to the right. We don't want to do that one yet. All right, let's use draw shot, see if we get anything. Um, let's just use basic shot. Pew pew. All right, it's end of turn. This is so cute, I love it. Uh, objects in the mid row are between you and the enemy ship. Ah, there's a missile coming in. They're much weaker than a ship and will be destroyed if they're hit by anything at all. So I can destroy the heavy missile. It's gonna deal three damage. Um, hmm. <laughs> um, it's going to hit us pretty, m oh no, lunge goes to the right. Yeah, we can go two to the right. So if we use this card, the ship will move two spaces to the right, and then we'll dodge the attack, I think. Yeah, there we go. Dodge that missile. No, shoot it down. Okay, so we can do either. Multi-shot. Basic shot. Dodging is fun. Yay, it missed. Oh, here comes another rocket, though. Definitely like having some movement here. So if we use scramble, we can dodge both attacks. Uh, if we were to try to shoot it, I think I would have to move two spaces to the left, which doesn't seem possible. So instead, let's just move over. Bye, nerd. Haha. -ha. Let's see if I retain the shield from this, or if it's just gonna go away. Yeah, you missed, nerd. Um, hmm. I guess we just want to move over one again. It seems easiest. I think. Yeah, we lost the temporary shield. Oh, I don't have any attacks that can hit. Darn it. Uh, pass that turn. Ah! Uh, maybe we can just finish it off. Yeah, let's just finish it off. Multi shot will take it down to one life left, and then basic shot will finish it. Yeah! Okay, yeah, so the regular shield charges up and it stays charged up, but the temporary one is just for the turn. I see. Uh, deflection. Ooh, I like this. Two shield and two attack? That sounds pretty nice. Front loaded blast, attack for four damage, add three fumes to your draw pile. So it does lots of damage, but then it adds, I'm assuming a useless card. Uh, this card will be removed at the end of combat. Yeah, the fumes don't do anything. And if we play it, it will remove it. Okay, I like, so it's like, this does a lot of damage up front. I mean, four damage is kind of big though. 
boost capacitors, which is lots of shield. Wait, shield capacity? Shield max shield is raised by one for the rest of combat. Ooh. Let's take the four damage, though. Like, maybe in a longer fight, three fumes could screw us. And maybe I'll take this one. It's just a nice balanced card. This one's uncommon. You can't not take the uncommons. <laughs> Let's take the uncommon card. <laughs> Zero mana slimes, yeah. You got super hooked on this game over Christmas break, then immediately stopped forever once you hit the end. Yeah, that's fair. I do that with some games too. All right, uh, next encounter. Let's go. We haven't even been hit yet, I don't think. I'm assuming our health isn't going to restore, so. I should use shield cards when I have nothing to do so that I can save it up. A shield drone. Ooh, so they have a shield drone. Can I move to hit that? No. Wow, this thing has a lot of shield. Um, well, since this is regular shield and our shield isn't full, let's work on restoring our shield. And then we can multi-shot and basic shot and just do a bunch of damage. I don't want to add the fumes yet. Let's see, what is this guy? Attack drone. So we do have scramble now. Maybe we should just blow up the attack drone with this. Let's see how that works. So, well, oh, wait, it's also going to, it's going to launch something. Um, let's blow up the attack drone. I wish I could use lunge, but I guess it'll miss. I guess I can use lunge and basic dodge. Or we could just keep recharging our shields. Let's keep recharging our shields. Will it stay for just this fight? I gotta figure that out. If the shields will um, stay for just this fight or not. And while I have the ability to... Oh, it's gonna launch something here, actually. Oh, I can play it and store this evade. I don't have to use it. Wait a second. We can play the evade cards and just keep the evade ready to go. Oh, I gotta be doing that. I gotta be doing that. That's so much smarter. Okay. Um, if I can, I feel like we should maybe kill all these drones? I don't know. Yeah, the music is so good. Alright, so we gotta get rid of these drones, maybe. I don't know. We gotta figure out what the best strategy is, but that sounds good. I wonder how much this will do... Oh, shoots a two damage shot once per turn. So it's gonna hit us for two every turn if we don't kill it. Let's just get rid of it. And now we have some movement already here. Um... So how about we start working on these shield drones here? Ooh. This one goes two to the left, hits for two, and then goes to one to the right. Well, that kills that one and puts us in front of this one. And then we can blow up that one, and I don't need to draw cards, but whatever. Okay, we got rid of all their drones. That seems good. Um, lunge will instantly move two spaces to the right and then attack. So that just gets rid of that other one. Let's do it. Boom. Yeah. I like the positional aspect of this. Um, okay, let's move back and then just finally start blasting. Boom. I don't think I want to use this until I'm sure that... Ah, it does four damage. Let's just start, let's start blasting and then fill our deck with fumes. <laughs> Time to draw lots of fumes and regret our decision. Because <laughs> it put them in the draw pile and my draw pile was right there, ready... To... Oh, I should have taken this card. It was a mistake. Um, well, uh, on the plus side, we're okay. Let's get rid of these fumes. On the plus side, we're uh, got rid of them all and we're ready to cook now. But um, hey, we can add more fumes. Okay, wait. I think I can just kill it, right? I think we could just kill it here. It only has, oh, it has six HP. Uh, if I can hit with everything, it looks like it won't quite. Maybe I can do it. Maybe I can do it. Moves to the left, attacks, ah. Actually, maybe it works. Okay, wait, if I hit it for four there, and then I hit it there, it only has one HP left, and I have two moves. So I simply move two to the right, and then use Whiplash. And then it'll move two to the left and hit it. And we win. Yay. We're gonna try this, but completely forgot about it. You've never heard about it? Yes, deck building in space. 
Um, all right, here are our card rewards for the fight. Uh, we can get an uncommon charge beam. Attack for zero, but each time this card is drawn, this fight, add two. Ooh, I see. So as you keep drawing it, it keeps doing more and more damage. Um, if you have a small deck, I guess that's good. He <laughs> scoot. As they move three spaces to the right, I can see that being good. Evasive shot, I like that. It adds an evade and just a regular attack. That seems so useful. I'm gonna get evasive shot, because moving around seems really useful in this. All right, I didn't end up needing the repair station. Oh, also offers card rewards and upgrades and removal. Yo, oh, <laughs> Cleo! Aw. Cute. Very cute characters. <laughs> Um, howdy, how's it going? Oh, you know, same old, what's this, loop 400 or something? <laughs> I just realized that it's like we've just been dying for 400 loops. 570, we've been dying for 517 loops. <laughs> That's just a story, all right? This is my first time playing this. Carl, how was the Mario Maker 1 sunset? It was awesome, but then I I'm actually really excited to play some more Mario Maker 1. We'll do that soon. Well, let's get you on your way. Can I get you anything? Uh, we can remove a card or upgrade a card. Let's see what our upgrades look like. Let's say we want to upload front-loaded blast. Wait, you can choose two different upgrades. Oh, you can make it cost zero, or you can make it only add two fumes to your deck. Interesting, so there's two potential upgrade paths. I love that. I actually kind of wish Slay the Spire had upgrade paths. That adds some more interest for sure. What was the other card we just got? Uh, we just got Evasive Shot, I think. Oh my. Uh. Wait, what's the difference here? Oh, this exhausts. So you can only play it once, but it adds a little bit extra evade. Or you just get more damage out of it. Very cool. Yeah, this is really cool. Right? You love this game, Vivi? I am enjoying it so far. We've just started here. What is this? Oh, piercing attack. Ignores all shields and armor. Or a tr one for three damage. Pretty, pretty snazzy right there. Let's see what Whiplash does. Oh, you can make it do three damage. What does this symbol mean? Flippable. In combat, right click or control click this card to flip the direction of its actions. So you can make it so that it moves to the right or to the left with this upgrade. I really like the utility of that. Ooh, the cards are really getting interesting here. Lots of cool options. So we have to kind of move around to evade stuff and that lets us have more options where we can move. Um, I think I'm gonna just take, maybe exhausting is a bad idea, but I like how this card is just really good when I do this. So I, ooh, shiny, wait, it knows, <laughs> the game knows. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's simple, but adds this one interesting mechanic that I've never seen before. Mm. All right, here's our first elite enemy encounter. Let's do it. Grifflands is another one that has a very similar choice system. Choice system. Uh, hi, Ilt. Let's do it, let's do it. There's a pirate hailing us. How can you tell they're a pirate? They have a big skull painted on their hull. <laughs> ah. <laughs> surrender and drop your sh surrender and drop your shields or I'll drop them for you. Um, no. <laughs> have it your way. Uh, watch out, if this attack hits you, it'll also give you a status. Shit. All right, see, that's why I wanted to make sure we had enough dodge. I noticed you do start with one dodge, which is nice. Hey, look, there's little asteroids in the way. So we don't want to, uh, we don't want to hit those asteroids. Um, okay, let's start off by moving one, by scooching one over. So see, we scooted out of the way. Don't embarrass yourself. We scooted out of the way of that attack. Um, let's add, let's add another basic. Actually, let's draw first. Let's use draw shot. Let's see what we get. Yeah, we got multi shot now, so we can do some extra damage. Kaboom! Um, 
And then let's add up another dodge just so we have some dodge next turn. You see it's indicated by this thing right here. So now we have a dodge for next turn. And since we're out of energy over here, that's it for the turn. We take one damage, ouch. But we didn't take any hull damage yet though. Okay, so our shield starts at one each turn it sound, or each combat. And if we do take hull damage in red, then it'll be permanently lost, I assume. This one's gonna hit the asteroid. What a nerd. What a nerd. Um, so we can do a bunch of damage. We can do a bunch of damage. Do a bunch of damage. What if I start with kaboom? Two damage, and we got lots of this stored up. Wait, what is this heat? If heat is three or more at the end of turn, where is it? What call, wait, where is it talking about heat? Where was anything talking about heat? Where's heat from? Hello? Where did heat come from? Excess heat. If heat is three or more at the end of turn, overheat. Well, it's not three or more. I didn't have, where does where heat come from? Oh, I got it from their shot. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Enemy is going to raise their shield. Uh, well, we don't need to block, I don't think. I'm hoping that this asteroid is going to block that attack. Uh, so we can use Whiplash to deal two damage though. Um, but how about we use uh, Block Shot for one, kaboom. And then we use Whiplash, it'll move us over to the left two spaces, and then we'll just be hiding behind the asteroid after that. So we go kaboom, and then hide behind the asteroid. And that's our turn. Okay. Whoa! There's a lot of stuff coming our way, but front-loaded blast might bail us out here. Maybe. I think it will. Front-loaded blast hits for four, and they currently have six. So if we just land whiplash, then it's GG. Or just multi-shot. Just front-loaded blast multi-shot. GG. Yeah. Yay. Wait. Oh, it had a... Oops, I think they had a shield that I didn't notice. I think we're still going to be okay, though. Multi-shot takes into one, so we just need to land this. And if we move two to spaces to the right, then we can land Whiplash. Because we move two spaces back to the left, but we're still hitting it. Come on! What are fumes? Fumes are cards that get added to our deck that don't do anything, so it's bad. Ooh, we can hold get a rare. Uh, this part takes one more damage. Wait, we can hold. This part takes one more damage from all attacks, so it'll weaken a specific part of the ship, maybe? So it deals two damage and applies weak. This part takes one more damage from all attacks. Okay, so we can kind of set up with that. What is this? Overpower. Adds two damage to all attacks, but... Oh, Overdrive. Adds two damage to all attacks, but decreases by one at the end of turn. Hmm. If you had a lot of small attacks and maybe more energy, I can see that being good, but I feel like I don't have enough energy for that. Ooh, wow, selective memory. Choose a card from your draw pile, put it in your hand. That's always nice, a nice search card. Um, I wonder if you have to hit the exact spot with weak and hull. Takes more damage from all attacks. I assume that a uh, multi shot will do will pair really well with this because it'll add one to each of the hits on multi shot. Especially if we upgrade multi shot, this could be good. Let's try it out. I say for this run, let's just get a bunch of stuff and try it. Um, do we have? To, oh, we have to pick an artifact. Okay. Every three dizzy cards. Wait, does one of our characters have cards? Uh, Dizzy is our science officer. His cards are mostly shielding and shield manipulation. Okay, so Dizzy cards are shield cards. I see. Uh, Riggs is your pilot. Her cards are mostly flexible movement and card draw, so the evade stuff. And then Perry is your weapons officer. Her cards are mostly attacks and instant movement. Gotcha. Slay the FTL. Yeah, the, they're color-coded. And you can see our deck by clicking this. Okay, yeah, so they're color-coded by who is doing each one of them. Okay, we only have two Dizzies right now. Two Dizzy cards, the blue ones. Um, every three Dizzy cards played gain one shield. I don't know if we have enough Dizzy cards for that. Uh, gain one energy every time you spend three plus energy playing a card. Oh, this is pretty nice. It makes that card we just got cheaper by one because we just got the weaken card that costs three, I think, right? Uh, yeah, weaken hull will then only cost two. But we can get a photon condenser. All of Dizzy 
Dizzy's card attacks. Dizzy has attacks? Oh, block shot is Dizzy. That's right. Okay. Cool. Um, Perry does have a card called Perry. Amazing. <laughs> All right, I'm not too sure what to get here. The most With our current deck, I feel like we should do this one because we don't have much stuff with Dizzy. But of course, we could always try to start getting it. Every three Dizzy cards you play gain one shield. I don't think we should take that one. That would just be one more damage on that one. Let's take the energy refund and then we can get some high casting cost stuff. Let's take another elite fight. We didn't even take damage from that. So more artifacts sound good. Let's go to the Oh, an artifact? An artifact. Okay, let's go here. Pick an artifact. Uh, artifacts are held by the ship's crew and change the rules of co Yeah, okay. Cockpit lock on. All enemies, all enemy cockpits start with weak. Okay, yeah, it is part specific. Huh. So we've got some synergy. We got extra weak now, I guess. Cool. And here we go. What on earth is that ship? It has so many guns. <laughs> oh my god, Jumbo. Yes. <laughs> uh. Hey, did you guys know there's a big bounty out for a ship with your registration number? <laughs> we did not. Thanks for letting us know. No sweat. Well, we better be getting on our way. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah! This part is brittle. It takes double damage from attacks. Okay, cool. Cockpit is brittle. So we want to focus there. We've got a big fat evasive shot that we can get cooking. Boom, does four damage to it. Kapow, easy damage. You got it, Riggs. Let's see. Oh my God, this does eight damage. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty tempted to just blast. last year. Uh, it wouldn't be the worst idea to also play block shot. We're blasting. Look at that hot damage. Can't wait to draw nothing but fumes and I'll do it again. Oh, they're cute. Um, probably I should play block shot so we don't take any actual damage. Let's do that. That was some big DPS though. So I started blasting. <laughs> All right. Ooh, riddle. Now, I wonder if Weaken won't do anything because it's already... No, I think Weaken might stack with Brittle because Brittle feels different. It's a different icon than this, so maybe it stacks. Uh, okay, we can just remove these guys. No dent in the energy reserve. And we may as well just keep blasting. Let's, uh, let's go back and just start blasting. Well, maybe we'll take extra damage doing that. I have three movement. It'll take two movement to get there downside but can we just kill though it currently has six hp i'm not too sure how weaken will interact like will the two damage it'll do it should just it should do four damage apply weaken either way i think we're k i think we're winning here so let's see what damage this does i think it will do four and apply weaken this part is weak is it also brittle please tell me it's also brittle either way it dies but I don't know if those stacked or not, or if it replaced it. <laughs> Fire Lost's card, like a con, we're playing finishing Zelda soon. I do not know the answer to that. I will play it again if I feel like it, but right now I don't. Um, let's see. Endless Magazine. Gain one chip shot at the start of every turn. What is a chip shot? Gain one chip shot at the start of every turn. Oh, we just gained that card. Endless magazine. This is like the shivs. Shiv deck. <laughs> Gain one chip shot at the start of every turn. So it's just a uh, zero for one. Um, cool. All right, we could get a bunch of, bunch of small ones. Acid cannon. Deals one whole damage at the end of every turn. So we can corrode them, apply some poison. Infinite blades, yeah, yep. Um, deal one hull damage at the end of every turn. Now, this does only cost two with our relic that makes things, or artifact that makes things that cost three or more have one reduction. 
So in that sense, I like taking Acid Cannon here. Let's do that. It has synergy with what we already have. Um, all right, so now we get another artifact. We want hole plating. Permanently gain plus three max hole. Oh, wow. Permanently gain plus three max hole and heal three on pickup. We don't need to heal three, but permanent plus three max hole could really come in handy. I wonder what a, oh, parry artifact is for the character parry. Okay. Uh, every five parry card plays played gain a chip shot. So this is just some extra damage throughout the fight. And then we also have shield memory. Your shield lasts between combats. Now I could see that being even more extra than just this three hull here. I could see this shield lasts between combats. Or alternatively, we'll, we'll never be able to play it because we're so busy stacking damage and then this will never be useful at all because we haven't taken any extra shield cards. <laughs> hmm, hard to choose here. Table. What is hull damage? Hull damage is this red here. If the if the hull goes down, then we die eventually. If we take 12 hull damage, it's all over. I say we take either shield memory. Actually, I can see them all. How many parry cards do I have? Let's look at our deck. So the um the purple ones are parry cards. We do use a lot of parry cards. So every couple turns we'd have one extra damage. Three extra life feels like it could bail our butts out. Shield memory, maybe we'll get good later. I'm going to take shield memory, and hopefully we can actually store some shield up. <laughs> we'll see about that. An unknown energy signature. Let's see what it is. Cat.exe is picking up a distress signal. <laughs> Wait, no. It's a pirate. Why is it always a pirate? <laughs> hey, give me that art. It's Drake again. What? Uh, hey, give me that artifact, or else. Or is that, I don't even, that's not the right voice for that character. Was there a different Drake? I don't know. Um, give her cockpit lock on? No way! We're fighting you, you nerd! Oh gosh, this one's coming in hot. Uh, the cockpit is weak, but we're also about to take massive damage. Um... I feel like moving out of the way would be good here if we can, but I don't know if we can. Maybe we draw a shot? Wait, what can we draw? Can we draw something? Yeah, like maybe like scramble? This game is very interesting. So, um, it's like Slay the Spire, you have your cards, you have your energy and stuff, but you also have to line up with the thing you're shooting, and if I can move out of the way of this three damage attack, then it won't hit me, which would be great. But I think in order to do that, I'm gonna have to use draw shot. Let's start by moving one because it'll do extra damage here. So like this part is this part of it, the cockpit is weak. So to deal one extra damage with our draw shot, boom. Now I did get scramble. I was hoping for something like this, and now I can use scramble and get the heck out of the way. There we go. Now we don't take any damage. Holy shit, that one's coming in for four. Um, all right. We could just lunge out of the way. Can we do something else here? No, I think we're tanking that unless we use lunge. So maybe we just, lunge will move two to this. It moves two to the right and then attacks. The attack won't help us, but that's probably okay. Cause we can just kaboom. We can just hit it twice and then just get out of the way. I think not taking any damage is going to be good here. Oh boy. These are also applying a status effect. Damn. Uh, evasive shot is very nice though. And we could, we could, oh, we could acid cannon evasive shot and do tons of damage to the weak cockpit. Yeah, because acid cannon will only because I have a relic uh, that makes things that cost three or more cost one less. So we had an extra energy because of that. Yeah, so it's it's corroding now. Now we use evasive shot, do fat DPS again. And now we have two evades to bail. This is fun. I really like the positioning aspect of it. Um, Ikon Shanti, so for the six months. 
Sean says, I love this game. It's really cool so far. Drake looks so nice. Why must we fight them? Right? Um, can we finish this off here? No. <laughs> in fact, I feel like it might be in our best interest to charge up our shields and then just dodge to the left while the poison keeps killing them. Or maybe we play scramble, then we'll save one. Yeah, here we go. Let's play shield surge because our shields will persist after combat. And then let's play scramble and let's just sidestep over here. Keep saying we should just leave. This is a great strategy. <laughs> just run because they're taking poison damage and we're charging up our shield, which is now permanent because our shield has memory and lasts between combat. Looks good to me. Yeah, get wrecked, nerd. Look at you, they're just sitting over there dying to our poison while we sit here and charge our shield. Let's go. Um, I could move over. Let's use basic dodge. I could just move over then pew pew, right? Or maybe I can't move enough. I only have two moves. Yeah, we can use draw shot to draw some cards though. Nah. All right, we just end turn and wait. Uh, uh oh, hello. <laughs> All right, we should be able to finish them off here. Maybe with an extra shield that we could save too. Um, anything kills here. So let's use shield surge just so we get some extra shield next time. And whiplash will kill. So it'll move two to the left, then it'll attack, and it deals two damage, which is all the health it has. They had a shield! Fun! I never noticed that. It doesn't matter because we have this. I don't notice when they gain shield like mid round. I should probably look for that. We got three rares. Get jaxed. Before space travels, I think, did, did humans have stories about it? Uh, absolutely. I wonder who was the first person who thought about space pirates. I remember hearing about in the late 1800s and early 1900s, there was a lot of like science fiction fiction stuff happening, just imagining imagining space things. Weren't there like stories about what was on the moon that were like rampant, stuff like that? Ace is one of your personal favorites. What does it do? Gain one evade every turn. Yeah, that seems nice. I am quite liking evade in this, that's for sure. Hmm, X equals hand. I think you mean X equals nine. Um, hand cannon. So it deals damage equal to the amount of cards in your hand. This would frequently be two mana for, for two energy for four damage, because right now we don't have any card draw. Um, or we could lean into poison. Ooh, this status will be applied to the enemy wherever they are. So you don't actually, you could just run and, I feel like you could just run and poison. <laughs> That's interesting. Ace would be good a good card to get down. Does it give you, um, does it give you evade on the turn that you play it? Well, it also only costs two in our deck. So hey, more synergy, right? Do the poison deck i was thinking that too but we need evade for the poison deck as well i like how this has synergy with our artifact that makes this actually only cost two only affects future turns all right cool we get a stun calibrator after your first attack each turn gain one stun charge uh your next okay so so if we attack a second time in the same turn then we cancel the intent of the targeted ship part. That sounds sick. You just double attack and cancel whatever that part's doing. That seems real good. Uh, of course, you do have to be lined up with it. Uh, quick draw. Draw two extra cards on the first turn. I do like that. It helps us get our evade out quickly. Quick draw seems good. Uh, grazer beam. Every time an attack misses the enemy by exactly one space, the enemy takes one damage. <laughs> That's kind of cool for the whole, like running away strategy, but I feel like this is really good. After your first attack each turn, gain one stun chart. So as long as we perform two attacks, then we will cancel the intent of the targeted ship part. You should check the upgrades. Oh yeah, I never checked the upgrade. Or how do I check the upgrades? What if I go to the deck and then I click on a card? I can right click to see the upgrades. Holy butts! This gives you two evade when you cast it, nice. Nice. Or costs one less. Well, ours already costs one less, but getting the two evade would be quite nice. 
I'm gonna try this stun calibrator out. I feel like it's gonna save us. Like, if there's a death beam coming at us, we can stun it and cancel it. And now we can get an upgrade. Salutations? What are salutations? Can I get you anything? Um, removing a card might not be bad, but it's so tempting to upgrade these cards. Like, being able to play this and get to evade immediately, I feel like makes this an easy turn one drop. So, I like that. FTL is faster than light. I'm gonna get this upgrade. Neat. All right, it's our first boss time. Let's go, an unknown powerful entity. Can we defeat the first boss? Here we go. Which one is this? So Dizzy is our science officer, the shield person. Okay, uh, Riggs, are you picking up any hostile ships on radar? No, why? My sensors are going crazy over there. Let's see, no, no warp core signatures within a light year. Hmm, switching sensors to visual spectrum. Dot, 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 dot. Ah, big crystal. Huh? Big crystal. <laughs> <laughs> ah, big crystal. <laughs> ah, death crystalline entity. Free taco lunch. Um, well then, maybe we just start with the lunge and get out of the way because okay the lunge lunge will move us two spaces to the right which will dodge all the current attacks that sounds good let's start with a lunge boom look at that we already got full shield by the way because of our shield memory that was a good idea what's this your next one attack will stop doesn't matter right now all right what does block shot do oh this, this adds the stun to indicate that now but let's say let's weaken the hull right here I should have probably done that first. Ah, whatever. I don't think it would have lined up. Let's apply a weaken rating. Oh, I can't cast it. It will. Wait, how does our artifact work? Hmm. How does our artifact work exactly? Energy refund. So you gain one energy every time you spend three plus playing cards. So we can't cast it to gain the energy back. Yeah. But that's okay. We'll get uh, two evade, which will surely come in handy here. So now we got three evade ready to cook when we need it. Get out of here. All right. Ooh, we could drop ace here. You like that? So when we play ace, we'll just get evade every turn. And we better use it as our first one here. Look at that. We got five evade now. I wonder if there's a maximum amount of evade. Um. Nice, and why don't we just, oh, we don't want to use Whiplash. Well, I'll just use a basic hit. I guess we're getting rid of these basic attacks would be good too, to start thinning out our deck a little bit. Um, let's use, I don't think there's anything worth, I don't want to draw our good stuff, so let's just use basic shot and then I move out of the way. Maybe it would have been better to like take a little damage rather than using to evade. Yeah, <laughs> for this reason right here. <laughs> oh, um, however, we can cancel this attack at least. Might be something, depending on how much you want to focus on doing damage right here. Down downside of front loaded blast, which I'm starting to realize has <laughs> maybe was not the play when stuff has this much HP. Uh, is we only have one card in our draw pile, so we're gonna like draw all of those. Do it. Yeah, Tubba, Pretendo looks really interesting. I wonder when we're gonna be able to play Super Expert on it. That's what I would like to do, or 100 men. Um, okay, we can use Evasive Shot here though, we may as well. But maybe we want to. Do we wanna hit the same spot twice or maybe we just use acid cannon and evasive shot here i think that's the play acid cannon will apply a debuff which is good now it's gonna take one poison damage every turn and evasive shot is going to give us the evade and cancel out that the evade needed to sidestep here and i think i just sidestep twice to the right and that's plenty of sidestep we'll take one damage that's okay 
The one damage will only affect our shields, so we're still looking good. Ooh, and this is a good place to be. Nice. Yeah, this looks good. Um, you start digging into Pretendo. I, do you think it's safe to like stream and make videos doing it and just in general like i don't ever i never ever since um one of the zelda streamers got like a got a strike on their youtube channel i've been a little worried about doing modest stuff like that point crow yep that's the one um how do we want to play this here I think we just uh, do some damage, gain some block, move on with our lives. Do a damage, gain an evade, gain a block. It's taking poison damage. Our health is still great. It doesn't seem to be moving a lot, so this is really nice for us. We can even weaken this part of the ship here. Why not? We can weaken this part of the ship. Boom. And then we can do two damage to that spot. Hiya! Sounds good to me. And we were banking so much evade because of this um, card that we played. Ace, was it? But this crystal isn't moving. Maybe when it hits half health, it's going to go crazy, though. Ooh, we can apply another acid. I definitely think we should do that. Let's apply a second acid to it. Yeah, now it'll take two damage every turn, and we can just run. And then multi-shot is going to do so much damage right now because this part of the crystal is weak and takes one more damage from all attacks. So I think this means this will deal four. Oh, yeah, it did do four. We're looking great here. The crystal's not really moving much. All right. A um, couple ways we can do this. I think it might just die here. Does it just die here? It's, it's at seven right now. It has zero shield. Um, if I use front loaded blast, look at that. It goes all the way down to two left. And then just a basic shot kills it. Yo, let's go. You love this game? Yeah, Nintendo scares me. That was for showcasing a multiplayer mod and having links to it in the description. Most modded content should still be fine. Let's go. I think we defeated the first boss, unless there's a phase two about to hit us. Ooh, we got a plus two max hull and nine hull upgrade that we didn't need. We were at full health, pretty much. Um, what in the heck does this mean? Uh, fire one, wait, fire for one damage immediately after every move you make? Oh shit! That seems real good! <laughs> uh, and I can cast, no I can't cast it. I can't cast it though. We never took unblocked damage. Okay, but here's the problem, I only have, I only have three energy. Unless we get an energy upgrade. Did I get an energy upgrade that I missed? This won't help us, because it's gain one energy. We can just upgrade it and then cast it. Oh, I want to I want to take it, but I just, I'm hoping we're about to get an energy upgrade, because that's, in Slay the Spire, this is about when you get an energy upgrade after the first round there. Come on. I'm going to take it. At least we can upgrade it. Boss artifact on pickup, remove three cards. All right, so this is like our, was like Iron Cage or something. Um, gain one evade every turn, but you can no longer have more than three at a time. I don't think that that's a good idea. Demon thrusters. I don't think that's a good idea with our thing. Um, though it really could combo well, actually. Now, now, the more that I think about this, we can also just use three evade every turn. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hunter wings. An Artemis exclusive... Wait, Artemis exclusive artifact. I don't know what that means. If you end your turn with more than zero energy, your wings retract and become empty. What is happening? Attacks will pass through here harmlessly. Oh, our wings retract. I see, I see. So our ship has, it's like ending segments are its wings. So basically anything on the far left 
here on the on the wings here would uh, wouldn't actually be able to take damage if you end your turn but only if we end our turn with more than zero energy which is like I kind of like using all of our energy though um, Artemis is the name of our ship so I think I'm gonna go with simplicity here but I'm I am a little tempted to try this you gain one of eight every turn but you can no longer have more than three at a time we won't be able to bank it up but are we ever gonna need more than three? That's the question. I don't, I don't know the answer to that. For now, I'm gonna do it with simplicity and I'm just gonna remove um, basic shots. Remove this card, yes. And then I'm also probably going to remove, uh, I don't wanna remove all of our one casts though. Like, I, I actually quite like basic dodge and basic blocks. So I'm going to remove basic shot again here, too. And that might be all I remove, or maybe it's going to make me remove another one. Well, shield surge is just better than basic blocks, so maybe we'll just get a better shield. I just I don't think we have another shield, so I don't really want to remove that. Um, I certainly don't want to remove any of these ones. Yeah, multi-shot is just better. I assume that we're gonna get a better upgrade to this at some point here. I just I just don't want to remove this because of um, we have ability to store shield right now. But hopefully this doesn't end up screwing us. <laughs> we are getting a lot of dodge. All right. uh, that's nice. The first time you beat those. The first time you guys managed to beat that thing. Wait, really? In 500 loops, that's the first time? <laughs> Wait, really? How many times have we tried 517? You don't want to know. <laughs> what even was it? If these readings are correct, I think it's some kind of time crystal. I've seen microscopic ones in the lab. Pushes up glasses. And in the cobalt's particle accelerator. And in the cobalt's particle accelerator, but never so large. Did the microscopic ones try to kill you? Not in a way I was able to perceive. No. Let's keep moving. All right, here we go. Now we go to the next area. A war point to the next sector. Whoa! Uh, oh, the nav system is taking us through this lawless sector. This zone is full of pirates, thieves, and smugglers. Like the last one, was it? <laughs> Everyone should have their side irons on them at all times, in case we get boarded. Wait, can that happen? Oh, hell yeah! Do I get a gun? Everyone but you. <laughs> uh, CCD-62 Cicada Drone Mark II. It's music! What are you watching? Um, It's like, Slay the Spire in space. These are my cards. You build the deck. Try to get better cards in your deck. Remove bad ones. And we pew 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 this other ship. Something that's cool about this though is that the ship is only attacking a specific part. And so we have this evade ability and cards that give me it that allow me to literally sidestep out of the way by pushing this left and right here. And that's kind of what our deck is built on right now. Um, can we apply a weak or anything? Not really. Let's play acid cannon to get some poison damage ticking. We still have four shield, notably, by the way. Um, let's get poison damage taking. I'm surprised poison applies even if you hit their shield. I figured status effects might not apply unless it does hull damage, but that's not true. Um, and now we can use evasive shot, pew pew pew, and just sidestep. Haha, <laughs> you missed, nerd. They move over. Ooh, is this a... The, this part of the ship is weak, though. We could do extra damage if we target... The cockpit here um, but can we safely do that well we could hit it for four immediately with whiplash in order for our stun to work do we have to hit the same thing I don't think so yeah oh this is sick so we can um, we can play whiplash which moves this two to space to the left and then pew hits that and it's does extra damage now we have our stun ready to apply, so we can even play we can hold, no we can't do we can hold. We can play multi shot here, pew pew, and that cancels the attack of the cannon because our stun calibrator has a stun charge. Um, 
And then either way, we're just doing one extra damage here. I could do two damage if I move there, but I'm gonna save my save my sh movement. I'm gonna save my sh movement. In fact, I'm just gonna move over here. Just kind of stay further, a little bit further away from the ship. Oh well. All right. Uh, four damage coming in. Coming in hot. However, can we just stun it again? The stun seems OP. Or can we just straight up kill it? I think we could just kill it. Yeah, okay. If we weaken hull... No, it has a shield. I always forget this. But I still... Oh, the stun doesn't work? After your first attack each turn, gain one stun charge. No, it still works. So we stun it. Oh, it died anyway. Nerd. There's so many other games to play. Yeah, it was a buff. So when it um, turns from like colored and yellow to gray, I think that's when it's like active, maybe? All right, all common cards. Um, instantly move two spaces in a random direction. <laughs> but it costs zero. <laughs> hmm. It also grants us one evade though. Blow it up, it's just a more advanced form of stun. Yes, exactly. Uh, add a wave beam to your hand for two energy. Um, it's just a zero for two piercing attack. Hmm. Okay. I don't quite understand the value of piercing attacks yet. Ignores all shields and armor. Maybe there's some way to make like a piercing deck so that you just ignore shields, but I don't see how to do that yet, so... I'm leaning between just getting another draw shot, which is nice, but Juke is like, we have no zeros in our deck and some high energy cost cards, so I feel like a lot of the time, this is just, we're gonna draw this and it's just going to be extra evade. So let's get Juke, that sounds good. We do like our evade in this deck. Um, which path do we wanna go on? If we wanna fight the most elites, doesn't matter actually which one we choose next. An unknown energy signature. Let's take another event. Events seem interesting, let's see what, let's learn more of them. Uh, Carl, do you know PVZ Heroes? No, I don't know anything about it. You need to collect the fun cards. Uh, salute. We've met Celine. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Love the pixel art. Uh, bet you won't let us shuffle all... Wait. Bet you won't let us shuffle all your ship parts? Please don't. Please don't! It'll be fun! Shuffle your ship parts? What does that mean? If these are parts... Is this like the position of our cannon? Oh god. I if it's it can't be my artifacts. Shuffle your ship parts to gain two maxel. <laughs> Wings on the inside. Oh we let's finish that prediction. Will we defeat the first boss? Yes. Will we defeat the second boss? hours of Mario Maker yesterday. Likes, you mean like slice and dice? I think I've heard of slice and dice, or somebody mentioned it the other day, but I don't know anything about it. YOLO. <laughs> sure, let's shuffle our ship for What the heck? <laughs> Did we lose our shields? What happened there? <laughs> our ship is way better now. We just have a wing on the inside. Don't worry about it. I knew you were cool. <laughs> How is this better? <laughs> oh. Oh my god, it is possible. I assume wings in the middle is not possible. I want it to be possible. 
Yeah, wait, with the wing fold item, what does that even mean? That'd be sick. Hold on, what happens with the wing fold item? You're right. Uh, do we want to take two hard encounters? Hell yeah, we do. Let's go. Oh, but I really... No, wait, wait, wait. I need to up... Hold on. I didn't get four energy. I... Oh, we can't do that yet. But I need to upgrade... Um... I need to upgrade a uh, the, the, the strafe so that we can actually cast it because right now it's literally not castable on our deck. So let's get the upgrade to do that. Um, all right, maybe we can. Maybe we can lunge this nerd. This is gonna launch something. The cockpit over there is weak, but it's hard to hit with how this is positioned. Um. Let's see, how do we want to do this? Maybe I just stun this. I think I just stun this rather than trying to like go for the cockpit or do anything else. I th oh, but playing Ace would be pretty nice too. I feel like we gotta play Ace. Let's start out playing Ace. And now I think we just tank this with Shield Sir. Oh, we do have full shields. Um, probably just, maybe we just play Lunge here. Take one. Play lunge and take one. Is our cockpit weak? I don't think so, right? I was gonna take one here. Uh, yes, I do upload these on YouTube. Uh, exclamation YT. I just did a, holy shit. All right, we have three missiles coming in hot. Um, their cockpit is weak. Uh, we can, <laughs> we can always use juke and see what happens. Oh, man. Surely it will move us to the right and not to the left. Right, smiley face? Um, but is there anything we want to do before that? I mean, it'd be nice to apply acid cannon. It'd be nice if this one moves us to the right. <laughs> really nice. Shit! <laughs> oh, man. You know what? Do I just move five all the way back? Or do I just move two to the left and call it a day? All right, fine. Fine. Let's play draw shot and see if we can get anything useful here. Yay, we can refill our block. Good enough for me. You missed, nerd. Ha ha, you're dumb. <laughs> all right, we can't cast straight. We need to fix that soon. Um, Let's see. Um, it'd be nice to hit that cockpit, but I just don't see it happening. So let's just start unloading. Kaboom. Kaboom. And then, yeah, let's do the four damage. Let's do the four damage. It's fine. We'll draw some shitty cards. It's okay. Oh, I didn't mean to move right there. Whoopsies. That was a misclick. For some reason, I thought I would end turn. Why did I think that? Uh, Scatterflot Dog, thank you so much for the sub. Ooh, this is a big missile and a small missile. Surely Juke will help us here. <laughs> Surely Juke will always help us here. Maybe I just move all the... You got this, Juke. God damn it, it's always the wrong way. <laughs> uh, all right. Come and get me, nerd. This is a great... I, this is a great plan until they actually, like have an attack that scales or something. Oh, let's just apply acid cannon. And then, yeah, let's just apply acid cannon and get that cooking. There's no point in playing this, right? Okay. Juke is never going to help us and I can't, I just can't wait. Can't wait. Um, I could, I think I, do I lunge this? Maybe I, maybe I move over one, start doing damage to the weak point of the ship here. Yeah, do a bunch of damage there. Don't use juke, because I don't trust it. <laughs> and then let's just get out of the way with lunge. Haha, you missed it. You're taking poison damage, nerd. Hey, what's this one? Seeker! It can't miss! This is the problem with my plan! Oh, man. Um, but we can just win. Right. We just win. We've got three health. This will deal two and weaken it. Kaboom! It's satisfying when it explodes. 
Oh, we've got an inverter. X equals shield. Yes, yes, yes. What? <laughs> um, okay. Overdrive is, overdrive is added as extra damage to all attacks. Interesting. So any extra shield that you have. So however much your shield is. Like I have four shield. Um, we will gain four overdrive, but set our shield to zero. Overdrive means that all of our attacks deal four extra damage. Uh, that's a cool card and could obviously rack up incredible damage. Like with multi-shot, if I played inverter and multi-shot, multi-shot would hit for eight. Because it would do four extra damage. But I feel like in a long fight, this is a useless card. And I do store shield between combats. So I kind of don't want to use it. I might just take another Whiplash. Especially upgraded, I like Whiplash. But just in general, I like I like movement cards a lot. So one energy for two damage with some movement that we can use when we need it. Wait, this is great too. More evade and it's free. Dang. I'm thinking either Whiplash or that. Uh, we have a lot of big attacks still, so I say let's go with this one. Um, and I want to get an upgrade here. I'm... Sp uh, I'm specifically going here to get an upgrade. Salutations! Uh, because we're not able to even cast Strafe right now. So I feel like we need to get this upgrade on Strafe here. Oh, damn, two. Fire for two damage immediately. But I just don't have the cast. I don't have the mana for that. So let's get Strafe. Now, whenever we evade, we'll just start pew pew pewing with our lasers. Rogue Starnackle! What in the world? Look at that thing! I love it! This enemy is going to give you a card. This can't be dodged. Get ready. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, this part has armor. It takes one less damage. Oh, so this is like the opposite of the weak cockpit. Um, all right. This is interesting here. Very interesting. Uh, I feel like we start with an ace because that gives us one extra evade every turn. And we need that to get out of the way. So let's... Um, Let's start with our ace. Get an energy back. Glurp. <laughs> Look at its little eyes. Hey, Felsic. Thank you. Um, if anybody has questions about this game, feel free to let me know. Scatterplot, thank you so much for the sub. We're just getting, we're just starting here. Um, if anybody new is coming in, we're slowly learning. How do I want to play this? I think I want to scooch over to the right. Now we're only going to take two damage, but I can just pew 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 this dude and then continue to scooch. I'm going to scooch two more. Now we take no damage. The soundtrack is so good. Yes. Does the attack from moving proc stun thing? Good question. Let's see if we can find out. Oh, I got abyssal visions in my deck. Okay, we can mostly hide behind the rocks next turn here, I think. We can play Strafe. Fire for one damage immediately after you move. Oh man, I forgot to play that one. And then we can get a free evade charge. We have three right now, let's take it up to four. We like that, we like that. Um, I think I moved, is it a fire? Yeah, look at that, we move and fire. And it does indeed proc my stun calibrator. So now we can just stun away this attack uh, with block shot and call it a day. Now it's now it can't even hit us. Nice. That's pretty cool. Though we are getting uh, oh god, I'm glad that's hitting the rock. I don't know what these cards are. Abyssal visions. Ooh, playing this. So in order to get rid of it, it costs two energy. Damn, we're getting squidulated. Okay, let's try to deal some damage then to it. Um, to the best of our abilities here. We have full block. Probably just draw shot and see what we get. Let's start with the draw shot and see if we get anything that we want to apply. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna get these abyssal visions. Maybe I just get rid of them. And eh, maybe not yet. Uh, maybe I get rid of them now before it becomes a bigger problem. <laughs> I wanna play Juke cause, holy shit, I shouldn't have played Juke. <laughs> I didn't consider it would do an attack. It's fine. Can we just get out of the way? <laughs> it's fine. Um, okay, let's play this for free evade. We have a lot of evade coming in, which is very helpful here. Um, 
let's play a draw shot and see what we get. Uh, looks like we're just running away this turn. But I mean, I have so much evade. I can like, that's maybe better to just get out of the way here. Cause yeah, it's probably better to just, what if I run to the right, it would deal tons of damage, but maybe I don't want to use all my evade like that. How much would it take? Um, we would need to move, uh, let's see, we move one, two, three, four. We'd have to move five, but it would deal a bunch of damage. Yeah, Cobalt Core is cool. This is a um, elite, not a boss, and not a regular fight. Okay, it used a lot of our evade to do that, but at least it did some damage, and we're gaining evade every turn. Okay, now it's doing five. Don't do stupid things this turn, me. Mmm. Maybe we just use our front loaded blast. We're gonna have a lot of crap cards in our deck though. <laughs> it's a little bit troublesome, but I think we have enough evade to get out of any bad situations here, hopefully. Um, whiplash won't work, unfortunately. We'll miss it. So why don't we use, why don't we use block shot and get rid of this? And just kind of work on playing it safe right now. Yeah, get over there, nerd. Uh, we can play our bolt for free to get more evade. And I having the cannon not be at the center of the ship is somewhat frustrating when stuff stays on my right. Because I have to move so much like into its attacks. If I had gotten a poison off on it, this would have been sick. But since we haven't gotten a poison off on it, it's kind of annoying to get an attack in here. Um, I could do it with lunge. Like, lunge wouldn't be a terrible idea, but I think I'm just gonna scramble and move out of the way, to be honest. Or do I lunge and move out of the way? Lunge will hit it for two damage, and we do probably need to get some damage going here at some point, but I don't have to move so much. It's not worth it. Let's just uh, sidestep over here. This is my first run, yes. Uh, if it's moved two, does that fire twice? I think it just moves at the final destination, I think. Okay, I was waiting for Acid Cannon. I really wanted Acid Cannon here. Uh, I feel like this is gonna help us out a bunch because once we apply Acid Cannon to it, which I'll do now, now it's just gonna take one damage every turn. So my running, we just need to stall. Exactly, Dizzy. Oh, look at how cute they are. Um, I think I multi-shot and then I juke and then I bail. Worst case scenario, juke will do some extra damage and we have enough evade to just do whatever, so. I think that's fine. Plan, let's multi-shot this nerd. Like a sitting duck. And then let's juke. It did some damage, it's fine. We just get out of here. We have plenty of evade. Whoa, that's sick. Glurp, glurp. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, we can just lunge out of the way almost like do some damage I don't know now let's just cast abyssal visions to get it out of our deck and then let's use juke to for the trolls now let's not let's just lunge out of the way and never trust juke ever again <laughs> juke right into the center yeah <laughs> oh man uh, all right I think I apply another acid cannon I'm really liking the poison run strats right now we can also get rid of the Abyssal Vision, but we have six evade, so I think we just apply another acid. Now it's taking two damage a turn. And we draw shot to see if we draw a bolt. I think that's the play. Draw shot to see if we draw a bolt. We did not. Uh, but that's okay, we just go pew, pew. Bye, nerd. Get nerded on, nerd. Uh, there's our vault. Gain some extra fade. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, can I just move back and forth? I can just go, dude, dude, dude. <laughs> really 
like that card. I'm glad we upgraded Strafe. Hit the weak spot. I think it's a strong spot on that one, unless I'm wrong. Maybe it was a weak spot. Um, I mean, I got him confused. We got a rare. Table flip! <laughs> All cards with flippable actions, such as move, are flippable for the rest of combat. Ooh. So this means that any of my cards that say move left, I could flip them over and it would move right instead. It switches from weak to strong. Okay. You feel Riggs is very strong. Riggs has the uh, orange cards. Um... I like the idea of this. Table flip. Instantly move one place to the right and make it. I really like movement in this deck. Let's see what this does. Whenever the ship attacks, it gains one temporary shield. Wait, whenever the ship attacks, it gains one temporary. Oh, but it only works for this turn, if I'm not mistaken. So we have one turn of flux, I think. That doesn't seem great, though one way to think about that is if I play that and I have a bunch of evade but I can't get out of an attack, every time I move to evade and then fire it would like charge up a shield. Uh, gain one shield, plus one for every time played this combat. I do like that. That could build up. But I think table flip sounds fun. Let's flip tables. <laughs> More movement seems good for this deck. Um... For every three dizzy card played, gain one shield. Was that a dizzy card that we just took? It probably was. Wait, that wasn't. It wasn't. It was not a dizzy card. Dizzy cards are the ones that match this character, so they have to be blue cards. That's the blue outline. Um, we can always just get hull played and gain plus three max hull. What does Crosslink do? Every fifth time you attack, gain one evade. That has potential to combo with our strafe card because strafe is already attacking every time we spade. Hmm. Every fifth time you attack, game one evade. I do like the idea of just going for fat evade. You don't think evade fire procs flux? Oh. Do you think the crosslink works with um, strafe? Every time you attack, you want to evade. Every fifth time you attack, you want to evade. It's either that or just plus three hull. Let's try crosslink. I want to know if it works. I hope it does. Um, so a question here of if we want to take another event or just some basic fights. Um, let's take more events because they're just fun. We've in we, we scrambled our ship. <laughs> Let's uh, let's take an artifact. We got an ion converter. Uh, if you end your turn with more than zero energy, gain one shield. Okay, cool. So anytime we have extra energy, we can just gain some shield. That could come in handy because we do retain our shield between combat with our shield memory artifact. Nice. An unknown energy signature. Let's check it out. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have this extra scaffold lying around. I think it would look great right in the middle of your ship. <laughs> Sunshine Heavy Industries. Why does this person just like completely fuck with our ship? It's also a great tax write-off. Add an unshootable scaffold to the right of the middle ship part. I think making our ship bigger is a serious mistake. Uh, we need to evade, and if our ship is bigger, we can't get out of the way. So, I'm sorry, Celine. But having- I want to- I want to do a run of this where I just build a massive Celine-inspired ship. <laughs> yeah. I want- I want to just build a massive Celine-inspired ship. Yeah, I, I see how you could make stuff go through it. I understand there, but... I think since I'm trying to play an evade deck right now, I don't want to do it with this particular deck. I'm assuming it adds a spot to my ship and doesn't just... Like, if it replaced part of the ship, sure. But adding to it, I don't want to do that. Um, Let's see. I want to stay small so I can run. Um, Let's see. I think we're going to use Ace here and run. <laughs> uh. 
right, let's, we may as well use, do we have full shield? We have full shield, so we may as well use draw shot and see if we get a free card. No free cards to be had here. So it's the same distance no matter which way we run. Uh, oh, can I even fully run away here? Oh, I can't, can I? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> um, well, we may as well do that at least. So we're only gonna take two. What is this thing? Space mine. Destroying it will damage its destroyer. Okay, we don't want to hit the space mine. Ah, good old lunge. Ah, good old juke. All right, we probably apply the acid cannon. What's this reflex going? Whenever this ship is shot, the part that was hit gains armor for the rest of the turn. Interesting. The part that was hit gains armor. Um, the cockpit is going to raise temporary shields for one turn, but it's brittle. It'd be nice to hit that, but it doesn't seem... Well, I could lunge over to it, but how bad is that gonna be for us? I think applying the acid cannon is the way to go here. And then just getting out of the way. Let's apply the acid cannon so we slowly start poisoning it. I really like that. And then, um, I think I'm gonna play Whiplash and run here? But maybe we can stun. Hold on, we do have a stun usable here. So, I could evasive shot this cannon and just stun it. Or we could just play whip. We can see what Juke does. Let's see how trolly this is and then decide from there. It's always where I don't... Well, I figured this was useful though because we can get some big damage in on the cockpit with evasive shot, but also lunge is so trolly. Or that or that one is so trolly, not lunge. Uh, but look, this does a lot of damage because it's hitting the weak spot. Oh, but it's no longer weak. Now it's armored. Okay, cool. I see. Um, well, in any case, uh, we can skedaddle out of the way there. I hope this mine doesn't just like kaboom into us. I think it's gonna sit there, right? Yeah. Uh, all right, we can play a bolt. Good old table flip. So I need. So like, do I have something that table flip would work with? I think we probably play strafe here. I have four. Yeah, I think we play strafe here. We just strafe all over that ship. Though we could also just run instead. Every move we make, we fire for one. All right, I don't want to hit this mine, though. We don't want to hit the mine. But that's okay. I don't think I will hit the mine. Um, probably need to just... Space plus mine looks fine. It's going to be fine. <laughs> I, think I, I think running is going to be better here than trying to do some damage, though. Good yellow it, though. I'm tempted to yellow it. Okay, if I play table flip... We'll move to the right and we'll shoot it for one and we'll have four movement. Uh, I'm not gonna really be able to get out of the way, so. Just get out of the way. Oh, the, we just got the free energy. From the, did we get the free energy from that? Every fifth time you attack. Oh, we gained, wait. Oh, we gained an evade from that from, yeah, see, this is the good shit right here. Crosslink just gave us a free evade. Yeah, let's go. I think we nuts table flip. Can you flip the table flip? I should try it. I figured I would have to cast it first, but can I flip table flip? I can flip table flip! Ah, uh, we should have done that. Um, okay. Well, I can just disable this and do a bunch of attacks here, I think. Um, maybe we start with the draw shot and see what we get. Pew pew. Um, I think attacks sound good here. Let's multi-shot and disable that one. And now we can either play table flip or get our shield back. I think since our shield is permanent, it's really in our interest to stay at max shield. Okay, they regenerated two, oh, they have two temporary shields. Um. <laughs> well, we can always start with the juke and see and let that guide us. Oh man. Alternatively, we could just go to the right, pew pew pew, and then get out. Oh, Juke could be very bad here because 
if we go two to the right, we'll shoot the space mine. We don't want to do that. Um, <laughs> why did I take Juke? <laughs> what was I thinking? Oh man. Um, I'm gonna go here, do some pew pew pewing, and then I'm gonna do weak and hole pew pew pew, and then. Uh, they're armored. We have to find a weaker target. Oh yeah, hitting the same part is not doing anything because I'm dumb. Whoopsies! I forgot about that. So not much point, I guess, in doing it. It doesn't even hurt it. Yeah. Okay, maybe the armored point wasn't the best target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well let's just sit here. Fine. RNG is stream value. This is true. All right, this is currently weak. So let's see what we can do to there. Nothing, good. <laughs> but we can also lunge. I really should have played table flip. Um, we can lunge and hit that one though, which is nice. So I think we want to move in that direction. Anyway, let's lunge, pew pew. Yeah, hit it twice. Get an extra evade. I think I can just evade back and forth and kill it right now maybe? Is that how this game works? have so much evade. Um, can't I just go like, pew, 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 pew. <laughs> All right. Nice. I do like these bolts. Um, gain one shield plus two. Wait, plus two for every time I play this combat. Seems good. Do you like gaining shield? Um, yeah, I'm gonna take one of these like ramping shield cards because I feel like it could come in handy in a really long fight. Let's take a ramping shield card. All right, we have an upgrade and then a boss. Let's do it. Hi, Cleo. How's the ship running? Well, you know, just freaking look at it. It's scrambled. Um, by which I mean bad. <laughs> I get you anything? Okay, we could remove a card. No, I think we're good on removes. Maybe the basic block we can remove now, but. Um, upgrading something like our acid cannon sounds nice. Oh, uh, we can't make it. Ooh, it does do four damage up front. That would be not bad. I wish I could get more acid applied, but I like how small our deck is. That's good. Um, making Whiplash flippable sounds like it might be pretty snazzy game is very cute. Yeah, the conversations are great. I might play uh, faster than light. Kind of on a roguelike spree right now. What's this shield capacity is raised for the rest of combat? Interesting. Um, might be good to buff this so that I stop uh, screwing myself with it. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's just buff Scramble and get even more evade, to be honest. Instantly move two spaces in a random direction. Why? What happens if we upgrade? Oh, do we already upgrade table flip? What do we want to do here? Draw shot could draw an additional card. I think having flippable on our movement cards would be very nice. <laughs> How about weakened hull? Oh, it applies a movement to it? Whoa. Wait, this is interesting. This part to... I'm pretty sure it deals two damage and applies weaken and then moves over again and then deals two more damage and applies weaken. That's a pretty sick upgrade right there. Yeah, I could just play the table flip. That's what I was thinking. That's why I veered away from that. Um, so we can just get a bunch of extra damage on that bad boy. But I don't, I kind of like the weakened hull upgrade. I just tend to be casting other three costs instead of weakened hull right now. Like I'm not using it a ton is the only reason I'm leaning away from that. Um, multi shot just being a big hit is nice too. I love casting acid cannon. So I feel like this is just two extra damage, which Certainly ain't bad. There's not much point in getting that one. What we play in? Uh, this is a deck building roguelike in space. 
we just were about to fight the second boss. If you played Slay the Spire, it seems exactly like the same layout. We're just about to like fight the second boss of Slay the Spire, basically. Um, all right, so here we go. An unknown powerful entity. Let's do it. Uh, Cat.exe is our ship's computer. <laughs> Everything is cute. Um, I'm being hailed by a pirate in the cruise class in a cruise cruiser class warship. Um, hi, hello. Oh boy, what is it? Put it on the screen so we can all see. Sure. Uh, oh hey, it's you. I used to be so soft. This should be easy. What? Wait. It's a different form of Riggs, who is one of who is our pilot. But she is now. This is there's like time warp shenanigans going on. Now how did she have that ship? Uh, this part is concussible. Any shot here will cancel this part's intent this turn. That means this one, right? Yeah. So the thing with this like blue thing, we could cancel that. Ooh, it's going to temporarily raise its shields unless we cancel that. Okay. Well, this is some shit. <laughs> this is some shit. <laughs> Dang, she's got a way cooler ship. Yeah. This is your favorite song? Yeah, the, this absolute banger, isn't this? It's so good. I can't, I always have to start with Ace. So, um, so it sounded like there were some new people coming in. One cool mechanic in this game is the evade mechanic, and that lets us move the ship. So you see how these beams are coming down. If we move out of the way with evade, then they won't hit us. This card is nice because every turn we gain an additional evade, and it gives us two evade right off the bat. I always like starting with that one. Why are you me? I'm me! You sure about that? <laughs> I think Juke isn't bad here. It's a zero energy cost card, and it moves us randomly uh, one way or the other way, but that is probably just going to be a good thing here. Do I want to hit this while I'm here, though? This is weak. I think we hit it while I'm here. It's going to raise its shields anyway. God, it has so many shields! Holy shiz! I think I start with an evasive shot here, because it's already weak right there. And so that did an extra damage. And now we have five evade, which is pretty nice here. Though, do I really want to have Juke potentially move me to the right? Slightly sketchy. Um, YOLO. It always moves me the wrong way, dude. <laughs> it always does it. <laughs> Fuck you. All right, let's just take one here. So I move. I you've moved all the way over here, and I only have two evade left, and we're just gonna take one. <laughs> all right, that only hurt our shields. This is good. Now we use strafe, and everything is good. Every time we move, now we do. We fire a shot, which I like to see. They have a bunch of temporary shield flow, so we're not gonna do much damage this turn. But I think playing strafe is key to this fight going in our favor. So let's start with a strafe. And let's maybe just regen our shield or play table flip. And both of them could be a good option here. Oh my god, this music is sick. I'm just going to regen the shield. And uh, pew pew. It doesn't matter though. Every ship should come with a cross link, right? So every fifth time we attack, we gain an evade. And we attack just by moving, which is very nice. Alright, take our one again. Could Strafe concuss the missile bays? Probably. So we can concuss... Yeah, we can concuss these with Strafe for sure. But I really want to apply... I really want to apply Acid Cannon. And if we do hit there, it'll do one more damage. But I think the one more damage is not important. What's important about Acid Cannon is that it will slowly corrode the ship. That's what we want here. Um, I think we play Acid Cannon to get the Corrosion cooking. And then we play Momentum, which will give us our shield back that we lost. But every, if we draw Momentum again, it'll start giving us more and more and more shield. And that might be useful if this thing has any big attacks. So let's play Momentum, get our shield back up to full. We're up to full shield now, four out of four. And we can just pew pew, pew pew, and sidestep those attacks save the rest of our one evade for later. Alright. 
Uh, Corrode is interesting because it does hull damage, by the way, so it completely ignores the shield, which is another thing I really like about it. Oh my god, I drew Acid Cannon again. That's so good. Um, we can play this guy to get some free, free evade. I like that one a lot. And then I think we play Acid Cannon again. Now it has two acids. So good. So, so, so good. And we can play Lunge, honestly, just to start sidestepping. Though these missiles... I think it's. I think it might be important to cancel these missiles. So I think what I'm going to do instead of playing Lunge is I'm going to go here and cancel that missile. And I'm going to go here and cancel that missile. And now we sidestep that. And instead I'm going to play Block Shot because Block Shot will block this one damage here. So I think that's better than playing Lunge there because now it's not going to fire a bunch of missiles. Good old juke. <laughs> Why did I take this card? Holy uh, shit. I think the right play is to play scramble and not juke, but um, I guess we'll do some. We'll do a bunch of damage with juke, right? It's fine. Hey, that wasn't too bad. All right. Um, now it might not be a bad idea to table flip to the left. Though I don't think the. I don't know if this. Preventing it from getting shield really affects us that much. It doesn't matter that much, but it's got plenty of energy. Let's just get rid of it anyway. Um, I'm gonna play block here though, rather than scramble. Since both are good. I like keeping our block just completely caught off. And then let's multi-shot this nerd. Get out of the way. We're doing great! I just pay me to say game volume could probably go down a smidge versus voice. Oh, okay. Is that good? You don't need to hear me. You just need to hear the music. Um, I can just tank at this point. Um, we've almost got a kill here. Do we? Because I can use weakened hull. Start with a weakened hole, I think. Flip lash. That's nice. Flip lash. One damage for two. Is it enough to kill? Let's see. Seven uh, plus five. I think that's a kill right there, just with whip lash. I mean, I can play weakened hole. PPU. It's like weak everywhere. <laughs> I think everything was winning there. Very nice. I really like it the way we've built our deck here. Evade seems very nice. Think twice. I thought that said think twice, twice, and I almost lost my mind. <laughs> uh, think twice. Discard all cards and draw three. Well, that's always useful um, if you like if you're trying to get to a particular card. Uh, whereas second opinion, draw one card of each color from the draw pile. Draw one card of each color. Um, I believe we only have three colors of cards. Uh, shield gun. Whatever our shield is, we deal that much damage. Well, if we had increased max shield capacity, that might be better. But I almost think we don't take any of these. Or maybe we just take second opinion. This is from the draw pile. Occasionally, you won't have any cards left in your draw pile. And this won't do anything. Um, but this might be nice to draw for... Um, like, I don't know. We have stuff that we want from every color, I think. Like, maybe a lunge bails our ass out if we need to move or table flip. Or, like, maybe juke bails us out, JK. Never. Hmm. Uh, think twice. Discard all cards and draw three. I'm going to take second opinions. I think both of these are okay. I don't think shield gun fits our deck super well because... Even though we have four shield, four damage is nothing for us. We gotta do s slower damage is better for us, I think. All right, we got a boss artifact though. I think twice an empty hand. Yeah, but I don't have enough energy to play that many cards. I'm never using all the cards in my hand as is. Um. Whoa, Genesis. What? 
<laughs> gain one of two common artifacts, then gain one of two common artifacts, then gain one of two common artifacts. Add three Genesis canisters to your deck. Add three. Okay. <laughs> I see. So it adds uh, three crappy, useless cards. Oh, playing this card completely removes it from your deck, though. Hold on a second. So Genesis Canister fills up our deck with crap, but if we we could just cycle through it all and play it, and we get three artifacts out of it. But it's three common artifacts instead of a boss artifact. Let's see how good the other ones are. Um, let's see. High Frequency Intercom. Draw two cards every turn. You're offered one less card in post-battle card rewards. And you may no longer skip any card rewards. Hoo -hoo -hoo. So we draw lots of cards, but there's definitely a downside. It's going to make it much harder to modify our deck. I don't like that. Um, I like how our deck is small and focused around like some powerful evade cards right now. Um, Hunter Wings. Oh yeah, I like this. This is funny because we we went to a we went to a shop and our ship got scrambled a little bit so that like we have wings in the center of our ship. Here. We have wings in the center of our ship. Like this is a wing, but then there's a wing right here. <laughs> Makes the middle of the ship empty. <laughs> um so I don't know the wings retract. What does it even mean? Attacks will pass through here harmlessly. So wherever our wings are, but only if we end our turn with more than one energy, wherever our wings are on the ship just won't take damage. Um, you know, I think that this deck is good enough to just run away and destroy these Genesis canisters. So getting three artifacts, and then if we just get rid of these, that'll be nice. So the Hunter Wings certainly fit the deck too. Uh, I think the Hunter Wings definitely fit our deck in terms of just evasion. This could be really good though. This sounds fun. I want to try it and see if it works with the middle of our deck. Or the middle of our ship. Um, let's see. Yeah, so we're wondering. So we just fought like a copy of Riggs or something? Alternate timeline Riggs? I can buy the ship for a while if you need a break. I mean, technically Riggs just killed her self in a different dimension or something. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Uh, no, really, I'm fine. It's just she really was me. Perry, tell me honestly. Do you think I'd look cool in a black jacket like that? Oh. And her purple eyeliner is so cool. Riggs. <laughs> that's, that's the kind of attitude I want when you realize that you just killed your multiverse clone. Riggs, stop hitting yourself. <laughs> uh... All right, here we go. I wonder if this is the final zone. Wow, everybody believed in me. Will we defeat the third boss? This is where the ship has been taking us. What is that? It's the same energy signature as the Cobalt's warp drive, but without containment shielding. Oh good. And at energy levels that shouldn't be possible. I love the little eye squint. <laughs> it's pretty. Let's go kill it. <laughs> Is that our plan? Uh, all right. Focus on their cockpit. Yeah, so it is weak. But also, oh, the wing will raise its stuff. So I think that my wings, I think that attacks pass through my wings, but oh, but only if I end my turn with more than zero energy. Okay, cool. Um, Start with a bolt, just to gain some evade. And then, do we see where Juke takes us? <laughs> and let that dictate whether we just end our turn? Or do we... Hold on a second here. Hold on a second here. If I go here, the attacks are hitting both of our wings. So now I can weaken the hull. End my turn with more than one ener... More than zero energy. Take no damage. I mean, I'd like to play Juke to get this, to be honest, but let's just try this. Look at that, our wings retract and it goes straight through us. Cool, all right. I like it, I like it. Um, 
Well, I think we get down our ace here for sure. So we can start evading more. And then we're already lined up with the weak point here, so evasive shot will get us a lot of momentum. Or a lot of evade. Momentum sadly won't get us momentum. <laughs> uh, kapow! I didn't do any damage because of that, which I maybe should have paid attention to, but that's fine. Um, okay, we're gonna have to move this time though. Bye. Uh, we could just move one to the left, and then our wings are taking care of everything again. We definitely want to add, want to get strafe cooking here. Let's get strafe, and then haha, -ha, you can't hit me. As long as we end with one. Haha, you can't hit me. <laughs> Let's go. Hi, Rex. Um, I think we apply the acid cannon here. That sounds like the play. Could even strafe a bunch, but... Uh, I think I'll just apply acid cannon and then sidestep with the table flip. Supply the acid, which is good. And then let's uh, table flip to the right. I mean, sure, let's take an opinion. Maybe I'll draw zero cost. I didn't draw zero cost. All right, let's just sidestep. End our turn. You miss me, haha. -ha. Yes, target the wings. <laughs> They're targeting the wings. Uh, let's get some evade going. Let's just do tons of DPS here. DPS. Um, but I need to make sure that I don't... Frontloaded Blast was a mistake. I, would, I might just like remove it from my deck. <laughs> I mean, we may as well do a lot of damage. We could just play Scramble. Let's just do a lot of damage. And then um, we can just end our turn here. The wings retract. And the misses. Acid Cannon plus perfectly spaced winged holes. <laughs> yes. Flying our second acid cannon is always good. Let's just get rid of these cards. Pew pew. Um, I have, wait, it only has six hull. Can't I just pew, 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 pew? <laughs> so good. See, we could have easily gotten rid of, scoot! We could have easily gotten rid of those three canisters. I saw cute space dinos, yes! Look at them. We got Dizzy, our science officer. Riggs is our pilot. And Perry is our weapon officer. All right. Um, and meow.exe is our ship's computer. <laughs> Scoot. Instantly moves three spaces to the right and it's flippable. That seems good for what we're trying to do here. I don't want shield gun button mash. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> it costs three energy. Instantly move three spaces to the left. We we add one evade. Retain. Oh, it's not discarded. Button. Oh, <laughs> get me out of here. I don't mind button mesh. Having a retain card that gives us three shield and three movement if we just need it sounds really nice in our deck. As like a get out of jail free card, especially because it's retained and we don't have a lot of like card manipulation and stuff. I think I'll take this. Worst case scenario, it sits in my hand until we need it. Um, I think another event sounds fun, and let's fight at one of the elites up here. But what is this? So this is just the artifact and the upgrade. I'm not hankering for an upgrade right now. Let's take an event, see what happens. Ooh, tooth. Hee-hoo, welcome to my emporium of wondrous ideas, traveler. May I offer you one of my creations? These all seem absolutely useless. Oh my god. Perhaps they are! Perhaps they are! Oh my god. Lightning in a bottle! It's a three energy cost spell that gives you three energy. <laughs> Can I see the upgrades to it? Yeah, Lightning in the Bottle actually helps us here to some extent. I mean, it's a card in the deck because it, it get, refunds one of the energy. So if we play Lightning in a Bottle, we'll actually end with four energy. You can see the upgrades if you right click. Mm, I can't right click over there because it goes away. Um, Waltz. 
Oh my god, Waltz is great with our strafe attack, right? You move two spaces to the left, one to the right, one to the right. That's like sick damage with strafe. Um, buckshot. Interesting. Bruise. What does Bruise do? Lose one hull, heal one hull. So all of these must have synergy with different artifacts. Waltz definitely seem... Waltz and Lightning in a Bottle both seem good for us. Um, the thing about Waltz is it's not useful unless we have Strafe in play. So... But it is uh, three damage. It's three damage if we have Strafe in play. I think the Lightning in a Bottle is always useful. So I think that's the one I'm going to get. But I do like both of them. I'm just a little worried about drawing waltz without having strafe down. Alright. Interesting. There's no ship part here. It's empty! Shots fired at this will miss. Gotcha, gotcha. So we don't want to shoot right there. It's empty. Whereas if you shoot the cockpit, it'll take extra damage. So we want to shoot there. Uh, always good to start with this. Gain our extra evade. We can play lightning in a bottle. And now we have four energy, which we can't use. <laughs> <laughs> Sick. Um, let's see. Uh, if I move twice and then end... Oh, actually, en actually, it ends up being useful because ending with energy makes our wins wings retract uh, with this one. So if we end with more than zero energy, then our wings retract, and so we won't take damage through there. Um... We've got our equal high Lyra, the Ion Ranger. Um, definitely want to use a wing retract here. I also think we could do this with... Do we want to use Whiplash? I think we do, because I can hit this. But we'd do extra damage if we shot here. Multi-shot right there would be nice as well. Um, there's, I guess, a couple ways we could do this. If I start with Whiplash, go two to the left and shoot, and then move one to the right. Um, Multi-shot on the cockpit is going to be more damage overall, and I think less movement? Ends up being close though. Let's use multi-shot on the cockpit. Uh, if I play Whiplash here... Nah. I'll just end my turn here. Our wings retract and the shot goes through us. Um, Alright, let's get Strafe going. Fire for one damage immediately after you move. Oh, button mash. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> now, nah, getting Strafe down is going to be so useful for this whole fight. Let's get Strafe out here. Alright, I think we use Juke here. Incredibly. Uh, is there any... What's the worst thing that will happen with Juke? If we move two to the left, this one will be right here. Either way, I think I only need to move once after using Juke. And I already have to use once. Move once. So it gives us one extra thingy thing. Probably go for a retract here. Let's see where Juke takes us. Yeah, we do some extra damage with Juke, which is nice. What is this going to do? It's going to apply a status if it hits. Um, so I think we move one to the left and then end our turn. Though we could second opinion just to see what we get. Maybe we'll get a zero. We didn't get a zero. Could have looked at my deck. That's why. We end our turn, and it goes through the wings. We're so evasive. I like this deck. Um, we don't need any shields. Uh, we could... Can we flip button mash? No. Button mash stays in our deck, which is so nice. It would be good to get... I think we just stay right here, potentially. Maybe use Scramble. I think we use Scramble and stay right here. That'll build us up for future turns. Let's use Scramble. And then just enter. This is my first one. Alright. Um... Tempted to apply Acid Cannon here. Maybe see where Juke takes us. Or 
maybe just apply acid cannon at the weak point and then move back to where we were. Is Jukinet in positive here under any circumstance? I wouldn't mind juking if it goes to the right, but I mind juking if it goes to the left. Well, then we're going to have to move to apply acid cannon, which... But we're already going to have to move to apply acid cannon. So... Let's apply it and see where it goes. Not where I wanted. Um, I have four stops, so we're good. We get a shot in there at the weak point. We can apply acid cannon. And then we can uh, move here and end our turn. And our wings, our wings, these, this wing upgrade has been pretty sick, not gonna lie. Quite happy with our choice there. All right, let's get some evade. And um, I think we just do damage with weak and hull. And then we do the same old strat where we stand here and evade. Don't forget about your stun. Oh yeah, that's true. I could just stun it. Yeah, that's a good point. I could just be using the stun. That would be way smarter. Because I could just go... I can just go here and stun it with like a multi-shot, right? Or what if I play ace first? Multi-shot just stuns it. It just shuts it down. That's because of this item here, the stun calibrator. If we attack twice in a turn, then our then we stun whatever ship part was going to attack us. That's so much smarter. Um, can't I just kill it here? It has five HP. I don't know when it takes the corrode damage, but I think if I just move back and forth, just die because <laughs> we got the extra energy from our crosslink. Uh, Chiller Miller, thank you for the 62 months. This game is very cool. Really enjoying it. Oh, we could take another juke. Perfect. <laughs> uh, fuck me. Um, more wiggle. I think taking whiplash would not be a bad idea here. But at the same time, making the deck bigger is almost like, do we need to make the deck bigger at this point? We already have a Whiplash. I think keeping the deck small is useful for getting the cards that we really need right now out. And it'd be better to just focus on upgrading. Speaking of which, maybe we should go here and upgrade. Um, one way or another, let's do a, take an elite fight. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, is it going to poison us? The enemy is going to corrode itself? Uh-oh, that's the Missile Bay. I don't like that. Why is it corroded? What's happening? What's happening? This fight looks weird. I'm scared. Uh, well, we can play our Lightning in a Bottle and gain an extra energy. Um, can this apply twice per turn? Every time you spend three plus energy. All right, we're gonna play our Lightning in a Bottle, which nets us one total energy because of our energy refund. I guess that's a move we can do, yeah. Come on, Riggs. Uh, we can get our ace down. Are we gonna get wrecked if we do that? Getting our ace down, we can then play scramble. So that sounds good. Let's get our ace down. All right, and then I think the play here is scramble. Um, we have currently three movement available to us. I don't know if I wanna be near this because it says missile bay and I'm scared. Um, Scramble and run. Uh, block my shield it'll, is already maximum, so we can't block anymore. Um, I, I th this thing concerns me a little bit. I just don't know what it's gonna do. It's hard to know what it even could possibly do. I'll take no damage and go here, but it just depends on what this does. It corroded itself. Maybe this is a survival fight? I'm confused as to what's going on. Um, 
All right. I think we get our strafe down. Let's start with getting our strafe down. And then... Um, we can table flip to the left. And simply sidestep once here to take no damage. Yeah, their ship is falling apart, I guess. Oh, it's called Rusting Colossus. I see. Hmm. Uh, let's buy the bolt to get extra s movement. And then I guess we can just help them along here? <laughs> hmm. There is an empty part of the ship here. We don't want to do that. We don't want to hit that. Um, I'm pretty much thinking we just move to the left here and apply an acid. I have three movement. Let's apply an acid blast. Just get the corrosion building. And I think the I think since the corrosion is building and it's kind of just wanting to stay alive here, I think the play here is to just move one to the left and then end our turn with an energy, which will cause our wing to retract and it misses us. The RNG Mario Maker one. Yeah, my my Wii U um, wouldn't, it was going to boot me out. It kept darkening, so I just gave up. And Mario Maker one is dead, though we can still play downloaded levels and we have a lot of cool downloaded levels to play. Good old juke. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> it's fine. This thing does massive damage, by the way. Uh, maybe we just shoot it twice here using our stun calibrator. That feels like a good idea. Uh, we have an evasive shot on it anyway, so let's just do that. Pew pew. Um, let's shoot it with our evasive shot and it should disable it. It didn't, oh it did. Oh, but it does take one less damage right here. Maybe I should have hit the weak spot. Uh, what else we got in this deck of ours? Ah yes, shields. <laughs> Oh, let's use the juke. Now we can hit the weak spot. It's fine. Everything's fine. Pew. Pew pew. Oh, uh, let's just use one. Yeah. I think we're doing just fine here. It's gonna, it's keep, the poison is ramping, so it should die soon. Use some free evade. And we can almost get a kill. Oh, it's got 20 HP still. No kill yet. But we do have a multi-shot on the weak point here. Alternatively, we could just multi-shot that. Let's ah, multi-shot the weak point. Make it go faster. I'm confident. Let's just play Juke and see what happens. All right, we go there. Uh, let's play Scramble and just sidestep. How convenient for the ship to have held on just enough to fight you, right? All right, I think we could just unload here for a kill. Now let's draw those fumes, yeah. Yeah. How much HP? Two. Pew pew, pew pew. Uh, another ace? Oh my goodness. Wow. I mean, I'm tempted by that. What does now or never do? Lo oh my gosh, it gives you three evade for free this turn, but then you lose all evade next turn. I don't think I want to do that. I might take a second ace. Did I ever upgrade my first one? Oh, I did upgrade my first one. Right, ace isn't as good without the upgrade. Um, we do, I can see the map, right? Yeah, we do have an upgrade coming up here. Is there something else I want to upgrade right now? What does upgraded bolt do? Oh my gosh, zero for two. Kind of want to upgrade that bolt, not going to lie. What does upgraded juke do? It's they move four spaces in a random direction. Holy shit. Oh yeah, we already upgraded it, so it always gives us something. Okay. You can't, like, upgrade even more. Um, we have strafe A. What does second opinions upgrade do? Um, 
It, it takes your cards from the discard pile instead of the draw pile. Or you can take one from the exhaust pile. That's interesting. Overall, I haven't gotten a ton of use out of that card. Is there anything that we really want to upgrade? What happens if I upgrade lightning in a bottle? Draw a card. Wait, what is the difference? Oh, it doesn't exhaust if I do that. Having it draw the card is nice because then it's just a pure positive in the deck. Um, can I already make that flippable? Yeah, replaying cards meant to be played once, exactly. Like, there's probably some sick combos with that. I am tempted to just leave the ace as is instead of trying to get a new one. It could be really good to get a new one though, but... Mm. I'm tempted to get a new one and upgrade. I'm tempted to get a new ace and upgrade it, or to just upgrade Bolt and be happy with, be happy with my free movement. Mm. Let's take another one and try to upgrade it. Uh, you may remove two cards at repair yards. I've been upgrading instead. Rebound reagent. Are there potions? No, it's just an artifact. Once per combat, when you lose hull, immediately heal one. All right, just gives us. Uh, Realistically, in a hard fight, this is just one extra health, so... But if we do take a lot of chip damage, it'd be nice. I'm not taking a lot of chip damage, though. Gain one energy every third turn. I like that. Uh, we have a lot of high energy cost stuff. And uh, turn three might be about the time that we're trying to bail out of a fight if it goes wrong. So, that sounds good to me. I'm gonna go to the top path here. Wait, am I gonna go to the top path? No, I want this upgrade. I want this next upgrade. Let's go to this upgrade path. Go to the bottom path. It's Brack! It looks like a crab. Those aren't wings. Crab time. <laughs> it's a crab. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, all right, let's get all oh, this music. Let's get strafe cooking, I guess. Let's get strafe cooking. It has an ass load of shield. BTW. I like using evasive shot just because it gives us evade when we need it. Can I cancel this if I hit there? I don't think so. What is this? Did you know crabs are less common in space than on planets? <laughs> Evolutionary perfection! Wait. Brack is... It's just crab scrambled. Um, attack drone. Shoots a uh, two damage shot per turn. This object could take one damage without, oh, it has a bubble. Now, I don't know if the attack drone, this is interesting. I don't know if the attack drone, I'm assuming it hits only in a line right there. If it didn't, that would be tragic for me. Um, let's, let's get our ace down. And I think if before using Juke, I don't know actually, this could be awkward. Let's hit this for one and then let's use Juke and see what happens. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see what we draw. Maybe we draw, oh, we draw a free movement thing. Dang, we drew a lightning in a bottle though. Not ideal in this situation. Um. None of this is ideal in this situation. <laughs> I don't know how much I want to like sack a bunch of... Oh God, what have I done? I don't know if I want to just run or if I want to... Well, we can pew pew this guy. Um... Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe we just leave it at the wings. I guess I could just play this too. Stay out of range. I don't know if it was worth trying to kill those or not. Okay, good. They just shoot down. But this one is a seeker. It cannot miss. We don't like that. We don't like that. It's really far away too. Um. All right. What can we do about that? I don't know if we should bother going all the way there. Let's just use a shield surge and uh, gain a temporary shield. I think. And I think that's good uh, we could yeah one temporary shield would be enough to block that shot I think let's uh, table flip though we could table flip left or right and slowly work on getting rid of these guys I mean I have five movement right now so 
So like, why don't I table flip to the left? even and just I got tons of charges now let's just take that guy out all right we're tanking the two here but we had a temporary shield so that's not bad um let's see probably just playing another ace here and then we can think about we have nine movement right now <laughs> so um, let's see. Where's a good place to stay safe here? Maybe I just go kill this drone. Can just. It's maybe not optimal, but this certainly works out just to do that. Oh, it moves back one, that's right. Whatever, I have so much. What? What are you doing all the way over there, Krabby Crab? What are you doing all the way over there? All right, let's get our shield back, because I just want it back. And I would love to have applied Acid Cannon, but this nerd pieced off all the way over here. Unless I want... I mean, I could just use 13, apply Acid. <laughs> no, I already lost that opportunity. Oh, God, two Seekers. Maybe that's not good. Um, on the plus side, we can block two with that. I can flip this if we ever need to. If we ever need to just go over there. Um, I have 15 movement. I feel like it wouldn't be the worst idea to just strafe shot across this whole thing. If I strafe the guns, will it disable them? I don't think so, but I could be wrong about that. Let's check that out. No, oh, it does disable them. For some reason, I thought it had to have a debuff for it to disable them. Oh, I should have been doing that the whole time. Whoopsies. I didn't do that right. Um, it's three away from us. Um, well. We can block one with this. But we could also just weaken hull and deal DPS. Or we could just play button mash and just go over there. I think all of them are fine. Most damage that we could do would be playing weak and pull here. Let's play weak and pull. I have 14 movement, so I feel like I could just go over there and I'll deal damage to it along the way. And that's fine. Because we can play block shot. And then I'll draw all these next turn, so I don't really want to do that. Let's just do this because we're going to disable the other thing and deal tons of damage to it. Now, how come that didn't disable that? I don't get that. Hmm. Well, nonetheless, we can just get rid of these nerds. Oh, I should have just taken that one. Oops. Well, uh, sure. Oh, it's the stun ship. Oh, the stun ship disable. Uh, sorry, I thought for some reason that the stun ship would only work on an attack, not on a launch. I didn't realize it was the stun ship that was causing that. I thought it was just hitting it that like caused it. I was like, wait, that doesn't make sense. That makes more sense now. All right, cool. Um, all right, we're looking pretty good here. We got our lightning in a bottle. We can apply our acid cannon. Um, can multi-shot this nerd and uh, maybe get a kill here it has 10 we have 10 so can't I just do this <laughs> uh, we get some extra energy doing that anyway strafe is nuts <laughs> strafe is just complete nuts um, draw two cards next turn drawing extra cards is not bad but I don't think it's great for us so I'm not too sure I want to take any draw cards because we have so many, like, if you could make it cost zero, yeah, that's better. Zero for three is always just going to be good. Gives us more options. Um, 
Ooh, gives you two evade. I like the upgrade, but I don't think I have... We only have one more upgrade, and I've already got it. I'm already gonna use it on Ace. So I think we skip here. Yeah, I think we skip here. Let's go up here, get an artifact, and then upgrade Ace. We got hole plating, all right. Oh, we have three more hole. That'll probably come in handy if we're ever gonna die. Detecting a minefield? Yeah, right, Austin? Um, oh wow, with a lot of exploded ships inside the minefield. Let's stop and look for cool stuff. We'll probably barely explode at all. Wait. Oh, I get to pick. Okay. So, I have 21 HP. I'm feeling pretty good. The The thing about the lose 3 HP is I get to pick one of four. Or else we just get one of them. Um, I say let's pick the one of four and see if we find anything else with some hot synergy. Let's do that. Perpetual motion device. Whenever you have no cards, draw a card. Not great for this deck, I don't think. Uh, gain two evade on the first turn. I love that. We just start with two evade. Love it. Um, permanently gain plus two max shield. That could come in handy because we do retain our shield. Uh, gain plus one max hole and heal one every time you def... Wait. Plus one max hole and heal one every time you defeat a boss early. Well, unfortunately, I think this is too late for this. At the early game, that sounds nice. Uh, I want to take the Jet Thrusters. Nice. More evade. Probably bail me out of a bad situation. Ooh, lots of... Yeah, so now we start with three evade. I like to see that. Um, we can play our Strafe. Do you love some Strafe? Play some Bolt. And I think just end our turn here um alternatively we could do draw shot or second opinions but is there realistically anything i want to play i think i i think playing this on turn one right now in this deck is a mistake because I, I already had something good to play um what's our options here this is a weak cockpit right here So what, can I prevent it from raising its shields? I'd have to hit it twice right there. I don't think I want to waste that much evade. Let's just end our turn. And what are those drills going to do? Our wings become unhittable due to our hunter wings. Nice. We got a lightning in a bottle and an ace here. I like that. Let's play the lightning in a bottle maybe? Ooh, we're gonna get drilled is what's gonna happen since it's repeating that action i think it's gonna go past i think i think i need to get out of the way like this asteroid i think isn't gonna block it i think it's gonna drill straight through it um is there any point in playing the lightning in a bottle this turn perhaps not Maybe we save it in the deck for later. Unless I want to play... No, I don't think I want to do much. Let's just play our ace and run. Question works finally phase. I guess Whiplash helps us run. So we should do that. Yeah, let's just use Whiplash to run away because we have the extra energy anyway. <clears throat> and I think I want to do it like this and then end my turn. So it drills through the wing. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah. Ooh, one times four is drilling more. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Um, all right. Let's see. Maybe we can disable this one, though. That would be nice. I think Multishot by itself will disable it. But we, we want to get Weakened Hull off here. So let's play Weakened Hull. Now we can play Multi-Shot and it will disable that, I believe. And then we can just move out of the way. Yeah. There, we're, now we're getting some damage in since that was a weakened area anyway. Uh, for the lulls, we could play Juke, but it might be a mistake. <laughs> yeah, it would be a mistake if it went the other direction I think so let's just do this 
Pew, 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 pew. Oh my god, it increases by one each turn. <laughs> well, this is certainly something. I really want to get that acid cannon off. Maybe more than the ace. Um, though the ace will keep us safe. I think the acid cannon is how we win the fight before it gets super out of control here. So let's apply the acid cannon. There we go. And probably we just lunge here. Lunge looks great right now. It hits it hits the ship for twice. And now we're not taking any damage. Pew 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 pew. But it does keep going up, one by six. Um Alright. Can we get a kill? Twelve? It is weak. I don't think we get a kill yet, but it's very close to being killable. Um, maybe we move to the left this time. Definitely don't want to get hit by that. Ship of stabbing. Yes. Hi, Ray. Hmm. We have our evasive shot, which is very nice. So to make the most of it, I think we just focus on the weak spot here. Because we have lots, of, maybe we can get a kill here, actually. Actually, we can get a kill, can't we? Yeah, I think we're good. Um, let's do draw shot on the weak spot. RIP lightning in a bottle. <laughs> Just keep hitting it. And we can just strafe shot this. We. I think we skip these and we just focus on upgrading the stuff that I already have. I don't want the deck to be too big. All right. Hi, Cleo. Good afternoon. Is it? Dun, 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 dun. Can I get you anything? Oh, you can repair 10 hull. That's interesting. But I was here to upgrade this ace. I feel like upgrading this ace is the way to go. And here we go, maybe final boss? I don't know how many um, acts this has. This is the act three boss. Let's give it a go. Is this our, it looks like it could be the final thing cause it's a potential core made out of cobalt. I don't know. <laughs> is this our final waypoint? It is, the cobalt is embedded in that singularity. Are we ready? Don't look so nervous guys. Hey cat, how many times have we been here before? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> you guys will do great. Good luck in there. What do you mean? Uh, we can't fight the cobalt while it's inside that singularity. Someone needs to bring it out. I'm uploading myself to the cobalt now. Bye. Cat, no! Cat.exe. Well, hold on. There's probably some other way we can accomplish that. Ah! She's already gone. Good thing that it has a ship that works just like all the other ships. <laughs> looks like it worked, that's the cobalt. I guess that's what Cat did. Um, this looks fine. Everything is fine. We're fine. All right, definitely gonna start off with Ace. But I could start off with this and see if we get the, um, <laughs> see if we draw the card that gives us more energy. But I think I don't wanna accidentally draw something that I can't cast this turn anyway. So, I'm just leaning towards using the ace. Um, and then our evasive shot will be a nice way to finish things off here, I think. So let's use the ace. We have five movement, which is good. Um, this enemy is going to attack you. We could try to... No, I don't have enough energy. Let's just use evasive shot and get the heck out of here. Yeah, I think I'm just running at this point. Maybe second opinion, but I don't think so. I have seven movement. It is quite a bit of movement though to get fully out of damage. So maybe we take two here. Let's just try this and see what we get. Nothing, yay. <laughs> All right, we definitely want to move at least to right there. Now the question is, do we move any more or do we take the two shields? Uh, I think we take 
the two shields because I don't know what's gonna happen in this fight and it might be a lot worse than two shields, so let's take it. All right, this looks fine. Is she in there? Unclear. Uh, this enemy is going to give you a card. So maybe we should disable that if we can. Um, we can use our bolt for free. That seems like a good start. And then I can multi-shot this to disable it with the stun calibrator, which requires two turns to disable an enemy attack. So that sounds like a good plan potentially there. Um, what else do we have on the table? But well, we have a bunch of shields and temporary shields. So the question is, do we want to use lunge? I think that would be a mistake because it has so much damage. I'm not interested in going for a kill right now, but endangering myself. Um, I'm also trying to see if there's some way to make use of our hunter wings. These two segments of the ship we can make not take any damage if we end with any energy. But it works better when there's a space between the enemy attacks and all these are not spaced out. So I'm going to start just moving off away from the four here, this way. And then while we're here, I think we use... Um, Probably multi-shot. Does that just immediately disable it? It does. So that's good. So now we're not going to get debuffed this hard next turn. And then we can improve our shields. In fact, we can just stay right here. We're going to take two if we stay right here. Alternatively, we could move so that this two is hitting this segment right here. That would take one, two, three movement. Um... But what if we just stay right here and we play Shield Surge? Might be nice. That'll be a net total of no damage. Wing goes away. We got a trash in our deck. All right, well, we at least prevented one of the trash. We're here to finish this. Uh, getting extra aces down sounds really good, so that's my play here. Let's get this extra ace down. Uh, Pockification, thank you so much for the 15 months. Second opinions will always pull lightning in a bottle. Maybe I should uh, look into that more. I haven't been like min-maxing the deck at all. I haven't felt like I needed to. Mm. All right, we definitely want this down. It gives us more generation every turn of evade which will probably bail us out of a bad situation. I say we probably juke here and see where it goes. Um, we need to get strafe. Getting strafe into play would be pretty big here. Um, it's gonna start making a bunch of missiles, which I don't love. We could also get table flip into play. Maybe we start either, alternatively we could just play scramble. All right, let's think about what happens if we juke two to each direction. If I juke two to the left, we're kind of in the same situation as before where I can take a little bit of damage. If we juke two to the right, I might just be able to run the whole way across the ship. Um, would one of these be a better option? I could just scramble and just run. I wanna get table flip and play though. Let's see what juke does, okay. Um, so we can take two pretty easily right here, or we can try to run a lot. Do we want to just take the two? And then the nice thing about taking the two is I can just, well, I can get table flip and play either way. Definitely want to get table flip and play one way or another here. Let's do this, and then um, we'll take the two. I'm not too worried about the two right now. All right, now we have strafe. This is what we've been waiting for. We absolutely need to get this strafe into play here. Now uh, we have enough, I think we have enough stuff to just do it. So let's get strafe into play and then start, maybe just recharge our shields and run. Definitely need strafe into play. All right, the reason I didn't want to use all my evade is now we have 12 damage from evading. Which seems good. And, um, 
Let's see, I think it's probably worth playing the Shield Surge and then just strafing a little bit. So let's play the Shield Surge and slowly start recharging our shields. And we can do a damage there, do a damage there to kill the missile. And now it's a question of how much strafe do we want to use to prevent more shield loss. We may as well take one because we have one temporary shield. So I say we go to there, take one through our temporary shield that's going away anyway. Oh, I, God damn it! I didn't mean to push that button. <laughs> I do that sometimes instead of end turn just because it's a big button there that's like, go next. <laughs> Ugh. Um, all right, we'll just make it a little harder on ourselves for no reason, this is good. Let's see, we can use our bolt for free, so may as well do that. Um, do we want to just, yeah, we could, we could whiplash and hit this nerd, because it'll double hit it, because it'll move over two spaces, then our strafe will trigger, firing a shot, then it'll do two damage shot right there as well, all of which is good, and it'll disable that uh, extra card that it's going to debuff us with. Um, we also have the opportunity to draw a shot here, try to get something out of it. Let's see what's in our deck. Drawing the lightning in a bottle would be pretty sad here, because I can't cast it. Same with weak and pull. Um, I don't think I really want to cast anything in our deck right now, so let's not play draw shot then. But getting through the deck wouldn't be bad. Um, I think we're looking really good here though. We have so much strafe generation per turn and now it's going to deal a lot of damage for us. So let's disable this card right there. That's good, I like that. Um, now we can probably play block shot here and multi shot and then just strafe a little bit and not take very much damage. Pew pew pew. All right, we need to get our corrosion on it though. That would be good. Uh, we could do another damage to it there. And it's since we have one temporary shield. Oh, I don't have any energy. So actually we will have to, if we want to avoid damage, we'll have to just go all the way over here. Maybe it would have been good to save one of those, but it's fine. It's interesting how it gives us the, every fifth time you attack, you gain one evade. It gives us the evade even if we're not actually hitting the ship, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I'll try to avoid just taking damage here completely. Let me see how far the ship's gonna move on top of us. It just moves a little bit. All right, now we have our lightning in a bottle. But I would like, I really wanna draw the corrosion. Ooh, uh, I really wanna draw that corrosion. Um, Playing lightning in a bottle here could be good because we do have a bunch of attacks. We could, yeah, let's lunge in maybe. Um, and then destroy that missile again, just in case it's a seeker missile. Let's play our lightning in a bottle. We have lots of energy now. Um, we can come in here, pew pew pew, lunge in here, do an attack right there, get rid of that thing. We can play weak and hull. And then, um, I don't think I wanna like focus on doing damage right now. I really, I shouldn't have never taken this card. Now we learned. Okay, though. We can get our shields back to full, which is good. And then I think I just strafe my way casually out of here. And then we can, we have an energy left, so we just need to go to the final wing position. We're doing some damage on our way out here. Of course, I could just stop right here and take one. I mean, that's, I think I just stop right here and take one. In case the fight gets crazy, I'll have seven banked up energy. Let's just stop here. It's fine. One damage, nothing. Um, save the whole plating for when we need it. Yeah! Still waiting to get... This This area is weak, so let's do a multi-shot there. Deals lots of damage. Um, I think we exhaust the trash here. And then just play a basic block card to get our block back up. Oh, let's play uh, Momentum. It would be much better to play Momentum, because every time you play it, it gets better, so may as well just start playing it. Okay. And now let's just uh, get out of harm's way. Maybe I take two here? Argument to be made for taking two right here. 
can also play Juke for some extra damage, depending on where it goes. It wouldn't be the worst thing if it straight back two to the right, to be honest. Because it gives me one and it deals two damage. Sure, fuck it. Yeah, okay, because it hit the weak spot. I don't mind. Alright, and we'll just take two here. Totally fine. Uh, Mandeet says, Carl, hope you're enjoying Coma Core. I had a blast completing it. It's been awesome. Oh, good. Finally, I got my, um, Acid Cannon. I've been waiting for that. Um, I think I go over here and I apply the Acid Cannon right here to also disable this segment of the ship. There we go. Lots of damage. Now it's corroded. I always feel a lot safer once we have that corrosion applied. I think we lunge out of here. Let's just lunge out of here and try to take nothing. Pew pew. Do some damage. And then... I don't want to take two. Let's just get out of here. There we go. It's a little bit of wasted damage to do that, but... I don't know what it's going to do, like maybe it has a big attack. I want to save as much hull and shields as we can, just in case we need it. Nice, we can whiplash back in and pew pew pew, and then get out of there. Or we can save. Um, I have enough shields coming up this turn that I think we can easily just whiplash our way in here. Disable that missile, pew pew, do lots of damage. Flash does so much damage with Strafe, it's so good. Maybe we can kill here, 13. Uh, if I target the weak point here, I'm pretty sure we have a kill. Uh, it will go 11, 9, and then I have 7. Yeah, because I can use Front Loader Blast on it. Okay, we have a kill here. Hopefully it doesn't go to phase 2. Like, I don't know, let's see what happens. Let's go here, that deals 2. This deals two because we're hitting the weak point, so it does an extra damage. Uh, we can play front loaded blast to basically take it down. Yeah, take it down to four. And if I just straight back and forth, it dies. All right. I hope that's not the end of the game. If so, that was too easy. But maybe it has a kind of like Slay the Spire. Maybe it will have a harder mode later. Uh, what's happening? Systems report. Cobalt went critical. We're exposed to the core singularity. Are all the emergency blast doors closed? I don't know if that's going to help. Yes, but we can't sustain this. The hole is literally melting. Come on, man. We beat the Cobalt. What else were we supposed to do? Yeah. Hello. Who is hailing us? Identify yourself. I bet it's cat.exe. Yeah, and make it snappy. We have like 30 seconds left, Max. Hello, broken ones. Your poor, shattered life stream. Time streams. I can help you. But there are other souls tangled in this time knot. Do you mean Isaac and Max? And two others. Now who shall I repair first? What? What? Do I only save one character? What's happening here? Who was the one? Who did I like the most? Riggs was the one who like had the issues of the whole time situation going on. So I'm tempted to pick Riggs for that reason. At least I think it was Riggs. Hmm. Uh, Riggs. What is this? Be still. You mentioned a broken time stream. Is that like... Oh, sorry, kitty cat. <laughs> it's not like my past? Uh, wait. You mo Wait, I, th I missed a little bit of dialogue there. Because it's purple like the background. Uh, now be still. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I've unlocked a memory from Riggs. Who's Drake and Matt? Wait, Drake is the person we kept fighting. I'm going to run with Isaac to unlock Drake. We're going to win a run with Isaac to unlock Drake. We just got Isaac, your engineer. His cards create and manipulate mid-row objects like drones and missiles. Uh, T minus 124 days. Ooh, Cobalt SDC. This is G72 Artemis requesting permission to dock. 
Copy G72 Artemis, state your cargo and passenger roster. Uh, cargo sheet lists 30 tons of water, 10 tons of rations, and 2 tons of science equipment. Copy, proceed to docking port 5. Yeah. <laughs> really like the pixel art. Uh, please sign here, here, and here. Who are you? What happened to your last delivery pilot? I'm Riggs. I just started today. The last pilot got spooked by some pirates along the route, so he quit. So they installed a cannon on the Artemis and hired me. <laughs> and you know how to handle yourself in combat? I do, yeah. Good, and you'll be the pilot for our regular deliveries from here on out. Unless I get blown up. Oh my gosh. Okay, we just got this one little memory of Riggs joining the team, I guess. Future memory? Oh, victory, that's it. All right, cool. Difficulty normal. I didn't see a difficulty scaling. These are the artifacts we used. I liked, I really liked our ship design. I, If I could do it again, I wouldn't have taken a few things, like probably the front-loaded blast, though it did help early. But just uh, focusing on evasion and like the wing retraction was really cool. I really liked the, um, I really liked the new mechanics they added to the game compared to other card-based roguelikes. Shuffle carried. You can change, can you, uh, can you change ship? Um, we've only unlocked one out of 18 memories, five out of 27 map events, 13 out of 92 artifacts, and 26 out of 208 cards. So not that much. And we have a new character unlocked, Isaac, your engineer. So we can make drones and missiles then. Cool, five ships, whoa. That was normal difficulty. There's hard. Events are harder. Start combat with a weak cockpit. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I was. I noticed that our cockpit wasn't weak, but theirs always was. Um, minus one max hole. Oh my god. Harder. Events are harder. Start combat with weak. Plus one basic shot. Plus one corrupted core. Minus three max hole. One less max hole gain from boss kills. Elites only offer two artifacts. Hardest. Take a downside on boot sequence. Events are harder. Start with a brittle cockpit. That's even more damage on the cockpit. Start with 50% hole missing. Most enemies are harder. Holy shit. <laughs> Dan, what did you play on? Carl said the game was too easy. Uh, Isaac has the best dialogue. So look, we have Artemis. Oh, win a run on hard to unlock this ship get 40 different artifacts to unlock this shiv win a run without dizzy rigs or parry in your crew to unlock this ship win 10 runs to unlock this ship damn well we have to at least do hard next time gotta at least do hard next time now we have isaac do i get to choose uh th crew is full remove one to add another i see so we're not gonna get their cards hmm that's kind of wild though because it's like no shields if you take if you get rid of dizzy but also like all that movement shit was coming from rigs so without rigs that might be a little bit spicy um it could be interesting to focus on attacks though we got like we can set up see i think setting up drones and missiles would would pair well with rigs though because then you have a lot of movement so you set up the drones and the missiles and then you peace out but i also don't want every run to be evade uh you got your one run on hard list glad i could just play on harder now <laughs> the whole pick your card pool is such a good mechanic yeah it's cool well now i gotta get the game right highly recommend getting all the memories be it on or off stream uh they made it worthwhile with this game um dan did you have a favorite uh character combination with these I want to try something different than what I did last time. I'm thinking... Uh, maybe we could stick with rigs, but instead of focusing on movement, focus on movement attacks. Or was that... Oh, that was parry. Yeah, so maybe parry and Isaac would make a good combo. Isaac goes to every team. I'm definitely going to try Isaac. I'm just trying to decide who to pair with it. Like, do I need to have shield manipulation? It feels like it would be too risky to not have any shield manipulation so i'm thinking i'm thinking shields 
attacks that make us move rather than focusing on just general evasion focus on attacks and setting up drones so we can like set some drones off and then like go to the side and pew 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 that sounds fun all right um yeah i know it would probably be good with rigs but i already i just played that way and i want to play a new way now so let's try let's try something new All right, will we defeat the third boss? We did. Will we beat the first boss on hard? Now we're on hard difficulty. What time is it? Yeah, I think I have enough time for another run, especially because now I know what I'm doing. Let's do it. This is a really, really cute game. Um, System time corrupted. Please select boot options so we can start with an upgraded card. Pick from three uncommons or just upgrade. Now, the thing about upgrading is we have our starter deck here. Ooh, we have two new things. Drone attack. Launch an object from your missile bay. Shoots one damage per turn. Shot. Okay. We can do parallel shift. Let's you move all mid-row objects. Mid-row objects would be our drones that are, like, in the middle. Uh, left or right. Interesting. So we can move them all around. Cool. Um, I think getting a new card is good at this point because... We would just be upgrading our starter cards. So let's get an uncommon card and see what we can get here. Holy shit, what is this? <laughs> EMP. The status will be applied to the enemy wherever they are. So it makes my shield zero, but it also makes the enemy shield zero. And it cancels every single intent on the enemy ship, but also instantly ends our turn. That's interesting. So for enemies that have a lot of shield, this would be great to use on them. Um, I wonder if EMP, it doesn't seem like it affects my drones. So if I have a bunch of drones out, I can just EMP and my drones will just fuck them up. Cancel every single intent on the enemy ship. Total stun. Interesting. Uh, Squadron Striker. So this is an Isaac ability, which might be nice. Um, launch an object wait launch an object oh so this will so from our missile bay uh this is launch offset so this arrow means that our attack our attack drone mark two um will launch one to the left and one to the right of our bay and we'll gain oh but we'll gain two less energy next turn so we launch a whole bunch of attack drones but then our next turn is going to be problematic however they're going to attack for four which is not bad. Ooh, Pulse Barrier. Max shield is raised by one for the rest of combat. So that's just a good shield card. I thought we had doggos. Oh, uh, we have dinos. Um, breaks your heart how few people seem to know about this gem. Yeah, it has really, really high reviews on Steam. Um but not that many. <laughs> almost didn't recognize you without your glasses, right? I'm so blind. I like to pretend they're little kobolds. They could definitely be kobolds. I was looking at this one and I was like, less dino -y. I'm not sure what Isaac is. Uh, I mean, we're already leaning into trying Isaac, so I say we just go full-on squadron build. Let's go. Hey, y'all. Crawl sleeps over. You know the drill. Ugh. Where am I? Hey, it's Isaac. Who's Isaac? Oh, right. Memories. Uh, do you remember anything before the incident? I'm a drone specialist, I think. Good enough. <laughs> and we go. <laughs> uh, is it just me or is that a rougher start to a loop than normal? Aw. I love how, sort of like Outer Wilds, I love how they built the roguelike mechanic into the story, like you're caught in a time loop. I mean, I think we just pop some squadrons and go to town here. Let's go. Squadron attack! So where's our missile bay? This is our missile bay. And so we just kaboom! Yeah! Send it! Um, we could also send out an attack drone, but we don't want to take hull damage. Oh yeah, my cockpit is weak, so we need to remember that. Oh hey, it's going to kill my drone. But the drone blocks for us. That's something. Wait, would I attack my own drone if I were to attack right here? 
kind of want to test it. Kind of scared. Launch an object from the missile bay. I assume I would destroy it. Let's just launch another. Look at that. We can block with drones. We're good. We just overwhelm them with drones. Everything's fine. Um, all right. Let's see. Enemy's going to apply a status effect. So I can't stop these because I don't have that artifact that we had last time. Hard mode. Um, let's see. Well, let's just do some damage then. I only have one attack anyway. It doesn't really matter what I hit on this dude, so kaboom. Pew pew. We're doing so much damage with these drones though. You love to see it. Pew pew. I could move that one out of the way, but it's blocking for me. Pew. Boom. Nice. I like the DPS of this guy. Maybe we take over power of this run. Adds two damage to all attacks. Now, if you have a ton of drones out, I can see that being nice. Oh, a shield drone. Beams one shield at its target once per turn. That's nice. What's a small boulder? Hello? Oh, it makes an asteroid to block for us. Nice. Yeah, let's like be tanky and blocky this this time. That sounds great. Um, I don't know about overdrive. That's two damage to all attacks, but decrease by one. If we have a lot of drones out, this is good. But if we don't, we want more shield drones and boulders. Oh, overpowered does not does not work with drones. Oh darn it. Okay. Well, I guess, thank you for that. We're not taking that one then. In that case, let's get more drones out. Let's get a shield drone. Um, I think we should take some combat. Ah, I want to find all the events though. Let's take events. Heck yeah, let's take events. Is anyone else getting a really bad headache? No, it's from that high-pitched static. What is that? Ah, you all again? Wait, this thing again? Hello. Which of you shall I teach this time? Oh, we can... Ooh. Obtain two... Obtain one of two Isaac cards. Let's get more Isaac. Battalion! Launch an object to the left. Uh, makes a shield drone. It's just tons of shit. Give me it. Tons of shit. Let's go. Energy readings are back to normal. All right. Let's upgrade that thing we just got. Oh, but I like fighting elites, though. Fighting extra elites is nice for extra relics. Let's fight an extra elite first, then we'll get an upgrade. Um... Use that evasion now. No, save it for later. It is going to hit our cockpit, which ain't great. Um, we can lunge two to the right. That'll at least be somewhat better. This is interesting because I'm not taking hardly any evade this time. We'll see how this ends up going for me. Um, maybe we lunge and then play a shield drone, and the shield drone just blocks the attack for us. Sure. Let's do a lunge. Pop up a shield drone. I named that drone Chosen One. Big hopes for it. <laughs> like, I could move it over so it stays out and heals us, like, later, instead of just tanking the hit. What does this do? Let's you move all mid row objects left or right. Costs one drone shift per move. And then it instantly moves them all space to the right let me just try it to see how it goes okay instantly, look at that we have a drone ship now so we can move these guys I just wanted to see what that would do uh, sure we'll take the oh taking a whole damage is great I right, fucking die <laughs> I just wanted to see what would happen it's fine don't worry about it um, choose more drones it's fine yeah let's get an attack drone out and run the heck away. Then uh, charge up our shields. The shield run fires first. Oh, okay. Thank you, Talon. Good to know. Um, this is like less good for our... I want to play battalion, but I think I need to dodge this five. Five ain't, five ain't okay. So... Uh, for the basic dodge and then maybe a uh, squadron striker. What happens if I make a drone where there's already a drone? Does it just not work? Does it like fizzle or something? Shield drone wouldn't be the worst idea. Um, 
You lose both drones? Oh my god, alright, so we don't want to do that. We gotta be careful we don't, uh... We don't do that. In that case, let's use our basic dodge, go here, and then I'll make two drones around our other drones. It's wild, uh, just how much one has to hunker down that rigs providing evasion. Yeah. I want- I did it on purpose, knowing it would probably be hard, but I'm hoping it- I'm hoping we'll find some new synergy. Like, we'll find some new cool stuff. This is kind of weird though, right? Because I can't move. <laughs> I literally can't move. Uh, but this is fine. We shield surge this turn. We lose a drone. But our drone's blocked for us, so that's good. Oh, good. Six damage. <laughs> Fun. Um, that's bad. Let's see. Can I move over? If lunge went the other way, we'd be good. Feeling pretty dead here. You can beat every mode without rigs. Yeah, I'm sure you can. Wouldn't have been a highly recommended game otherwise. Unfortunately, I feel like I'm taking six here. Beams one shield at its target once per turn. Auto dodge. Uh, if fired on, it will completely move out of the way to the right. Decreases by one every time it triggers. So if I play lunge, it'll make it move. But it won't move enough to matter, will it? Um, parallel shift. So we instantly move all of our drones to the right, and then I can move them again to the right, but that's still not quite enough to have one of them block for me. I don't understand what he's gonna do, so I'm gonna test this. But it could also, yeah, I think it's gonna be bad. It's just gonna go right off there. All right, well, unfortunately we're gonna take some damage, but we can at least make a shield drone and apply that. So we'll only take two, I believe. Yeah, not ideal. Oh, hey, it's doing seven. <laughs> hey, we're getting wrecked. This is good. Uh, Battalion's pretty nice here though. It'll, oh, it'll destroy my shield drone, won't it? Dang, nabbit. Maybe that's. I destroy my shield drones, but put a lot of other drones in play. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, it blows up both of them. Okay, okay, cool. But I can replace it. Oh, I can't replace it with an attack drone. Hmm. It's just kind of hard to hit this guy, but hopefully we're able to get a, able to finish this thing off soon. Gary, play an attack drone. Get some shields back. Yeah, it should be dead, right? Pew, pew. All right, we took a little bit of hull damage. Um, solar breeze. Instantly move all mid raw objects one to the right and draw a card. That could definitely come in handy. Let's take it. All right, here we go. Now our first elite, now that we don't have any good evade. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. The asteroids are gonna get in our way. Hmm. Um, we can play a shield drone to block for us. I wonder what happens if I play Solar Breeze. It does move all the rocks, that's wild. So I can move all the rocks with this. That's very interesting. Feels like I need to sack my shield drone here. Can't really think of any way to get around this. Oh no, I already have a dodge. So... Um, but I can't really... Let's see, if I play basic dodge, I can move twice. Um, but that... But if I move once... Play block shot. Play the shield drone. Okay, basic dodge, move once. Oh, the shield won't be in the right place. Wait, no, it works, it works. Play block shot, move here, and put my shield drone in the gap that I just created by blowing up that asteroid. Um, now we have our shields charging, JK. Um, well. <laughs> Um, 
I think I'm just gonna do some damage here and then go next, because I don't see a good way of... I don't know. It's anything I play is just gonna die with my shield drawn, so let's take our shield and then let the shield drone die. What does this mean? It's gonna apply a status if it hits. This is definitely being pretty tricky here. Uh, probably better to do this. Oh, that was the two one. Oopsies. I didn't count properly there. Um, but it's okay. We have a block. Do some damage. I think Bat Lion. Graphics are dope, right? This is called Cobalt Core. It's a deck building roguelike in space. So we're playing cards in our deck, trying to build a good deck. Right now I'm trying to use something, a character that makes a lot of um, these like little drones. And I'm so far it's very difficult and I think I'm dead, <laughs> but we'll keep trying. Um, all right, uh, attack drone will block for me. So that's nice. Uh, we can do some damage. And is it worth playing lunge here? Probably. Or we could just get some dodge for the future use. We might really need the dodge in the future, so let's do that. We can play squadron strike here, or oh no, we can play battalion here and get all sorts of goodness coming up. The battalion is the lower damage one. The squadron strikers do really heavy damage. So I do like that about them. Uh, we should definitely attack first. I like how this gets a shield drone into play. So let's just use let's just use battalion. Pew pew pew. A little bit less damage to it, but we should be safer in the future. Solar breeze to shift them all over by one could be useful here. I can also move one. I don't want my cockpit to get hit. I don't want my cockpit to get hit. I'm also overheating, which is great. So whenever this hits me, it applies an overheat. And then whenever three, it does the whole damage. Which I don't love the idea. Let's move all these nerds over by one. And I probably should sidestep the attack. Problem is, I don't think I can do anything else because I'm going to overheat otherwise. So we can at least uh, charge up our shields. Let's move one here, charge up our shields, charge up our shields. We'll do two damage to it. Have full shields, but our drones are not doing great. I definitely need some movement, I feel. Uh, Mr. Tempestilence says, Cobalt Core is one of my favorite games. I think about it, it's excellent. I'm really liking it so far. Okay, we're gonna, on a fantasy novel, you never had such intense and positive. Have you got this, Kaden? Um, over here going straight through shields. Yeah, I was worried. That's why I um, tried to kind of bail right there. I don't like how this is doing three damage to me and there's like nothing I can do about it. Maybe there's something I can do about it actually. I could block it with a squadron strike if I lunge first. Maybe. Possibly. Is that how this game works? I think it is. Yeah, there we go. I blocked. Yeah, this is very different. We're playing this in a very different style than we did on our last run. And I'm worried. <laughs> very worried. <laughs> can we finish this nerd off? Not quite. Oh, we can dodge though, so that's nice. That's my solar breeze, get everybody moved over. And then I probably should have attacked first now that I think about it, but don't worry about it. Oh no, it wouldn't have mattered. Let's play our dodge and GTFO. Having no movement or limited movement is brutal. Unlike the main protagonist, you don't got this. Oh, what can we do? Is 
without an attack drone sounds nice. Is there anything better that we can do? Send out an attack drone. I named this drone Windy. Probably lunch to free up more room. Oh, I, I forgot it wasn't going to go there where I shoot. Whoops, I killed my shield drone. Ouch. Come on. The drones are not doing very well against us, but I don't know if it's also just because we went on hard mode this time. Um, well, this is sketchy. We can make a drone. We can make all of our drones move over. So they can block for me. And we can store up a dodge for later. Uh, can we just get a kill here? Yes, we can. Right? No shields. Pew, pew. I did it. That was hard. You have chump blocker drones, right? Energy drone. Rare. Beams one energy at its target once per turn. Nice, nice. Extra battery. Hold on. I like that, too. Let's take an energy drone. It's rare. You can't not take a rare card. Uh, all right, let's see. We have an artifact for parry. At the start of combat, gain a glissade. What it does is it's cost zero. Insta we instantly move two to the right, and I can use it whenever. And it's flippable. Oh, it's two movement any direction. Wow, and I get it every single game. This could save my ass. That's a good one for us. Um, you may remove two cards or parry yards. I'm not using that right now. One random enemy part is made brittle at the start of the fight. This part is not marked as brittle until it's damaged. That's interesting. So there's some part of the ship, of every enemy ship, that's going to always take double damage, but we don't know what it is. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Um, presumably our drones will just randomly hit it, but I think this is like the thing that we really need to not die right now. So let's take that. And uh, we don't need to repair our hull yet, but I'm getting worried. <laughs> Hi, Cleo. This feels like a defect build. That's exactly the vibe I'm getting as a defect build from this. Sup? <laughs> Can I get you anything? I think we're gonna upgrade a card here uh, and look at what sort of upgrades we can get on like Battalion and Squadron Strike. What does our energy do do? We can play it for zero, just free energy drone, or it gives a bubble shield. Ooh, it can take an extra hit without being destroyed. I love that. It can chump block for us and give us energy. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, but let's see what else we got here. Let's check battalions upgrades. Oh, uh, what is happening in that? Oh, it makes them better drones. So basically the drones deal two damage instead of one damage with the battalion A. With the battalion B, um, the main difference is that we also get a shield drone, an additional... Sh this summons four drones. I like that. This summons four heckin' drones. Um, okay, that's a good option. I like that. What does the squadron striker do? Oh, they both have bubbles. Oh my gosh, I like the bubbles. Either we get a whole bunch of bubble two damaging drones. Four heckin' drones. <laughs> Uh, hi, T-Star. Welcome. Do we want bubble drones? Or do we want four heckin' drones? <laughs> or do we want a free energy drone? Hard to pick here, but I think I'm going to upgrade one of those options. Oh, Solar Breeze. Interesting. Um, how am I doing today? Pretty good. Um... Though I'm still kind of chomping at the bit waiting to hear about my job offer thing. Because I'm supposed to fly out and do an interview in a science lab. And they haven't given me a time. And they were supposed to give it. They were like, yeah, we'll do something in two to three weeks. And it was like three weeks ago. So I'm like, should be any day now. But also, please actually respond. Um, you're watching the Slay the Spire VODs. I still want to do an Iron Chad heart kill on Slay the Spire. That's like the one goal I have for the game that I didn't do. Maybe check out some mods too. 
I think I'm gonna upgrade Battalion and just get tons of drone dudes. But having them be extra spicy drones is nice too. Alright, let's get let's get this one for just covering the battlefield in drones. Oh. Alright, we get an artifact here, and I'm gonna try taking another elite. Potentially against my best judgment, but we gotta try. We gotta learn. Jaw card every time you miss a shot. That is a fascinating artifact. Or prep batteries. Gain one extra energy on the first turn. An extra energy can be nice in this deck because it helps us... Well, actually, maybe it doesn't matter because at most we're just dropping one of our big cards. So is the one extra energy going to really matter? Because I can't play Squadron Striker and Battalion. So maybe the extra energy isn't useful right now. Yeah, limit testing. It sounds way more intelligent. Exactly. The Packmaster mod. Ooh, okay. Yeah, Fort. I hope so. Uh, do we want one extra energy on the first turn only or to draw a card every time you miss a shot? If I draw a card every time my drones miss a shot, that's something that's pretty nice. Because I'll have a lot of drones missing shots, presumably. Does anybody know if Recalibrator applies to my drone shots? If it does, I'm taking it. If it doesn't, I'm not taking it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's try it. All right, um, unusually strong enemy encounter. Let's go. Spike. I wonder if this is a new character, or do we see all the characters we can get? Hey, uh, give me your uh, money or uh, gold. <laughs> is this your first stick up? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, it had little sweat marks. I wish I had skipped past that so fast. We have the battalion of the gods. Hey, yeah. Also, move over, nerds. All right. I moved over the nerds. Wait, I can make, oh, I always get this. That just makes me move. I don't think I care that much about that. Yeah. Okay, well, we can charge up our shields a little bit. No, we can't, that's all of our energy, JK. Four, five, six, I drew, an... no, I didn't draw an extra card. Uh-oh. <laughs> Um, temporary payback. Whenever the ship is hit, it immediately shoots a two damage attack. Goes away at the start of next turn. But it has two. Oh, it's a two damage attack. Where does it fire from? Whenever it's hit. Does it fire from... The cannon? Maybe? Um... It'd be nice to get our energy drone out. Or, what else can we do? We can move our nerds over, but I don't know if we want to move our nerds over. Uh, it'd be nice to just get an attack drone out too. We can move one to the left and drop an attack drone. Wouldn't mind that. Maybe going to do more for us than the energy drone is right now. Let's go. Or we can move everybody to the right and then sack an attack drone. <laughs> but... Actually, yeah, let's do that. Just because uh, my movement is more precious. And then we can... If I had the bubbled energy drone right now, it'd be a sick time to drop it, though. Sadly. I think we just sack the attack drone. It'll do, a da it'll do a damage before it dies. I like how this Thorns mechanic has actual spy. Oh, did it? I think I just took a ton of damage there because my drones hit it and then it retaliated. Oopsie doopsies. Probably should have seen that coming. But on the plus side, we can make a ton of squadron strikers here, which is certainly nice. We are generating a lot of shields as well. Um, I'm gonna go here. I pushed the wrong one! No! <laughs> oh man. Well, I think I'm gonna... That ends up, I think that ends up being okay, though. Because I'm gonna kill one of my... Oh no, it kills both of them! I keep forgetting it doesn't replace it, but it actually kills both of them. It doesn't evoke, alright? I want to evoke, like, the defect. Uh, JK calculated. I can shoot it. Nah, I'm gonna take a dodge instead, for sure. Alright, we're... I keep... Everything I'm doing is wrong. Don't look. Don't 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 look like this. Oh gosh. 
Roy is no longer our boy. Who's Roy? Who's Roy? Did I miss dialogue? All right, we massively messed that up. On draw, immediately attack for one damage. Oh, it gave me that card. That's what happened. Roy was the drone. Right, right. Um, I think I'm going to be potentially lunging out of here after I do some damage. Maybe we summon an attack drone. He's going to counter again. But if I get the heck out of here... Oh, I don't have any more stuff. We can use this one. Probably should not take any more hull damage. Because it's going to counter attack me, I think. Whenever the ship is hit, it immediately shoots a two damage attack. I think I need to get out of here. So... Bye. Forever? Alright, let's see what happens now. You know, yeah, it counterattacks with the cannon like that. Look at all those counterattacks. Holy crap. It's a good thing we got out of there. Hey, where'd you go? Come back, nerd. Um... I'm pretty sure that the recalibrator doesn't work, by the way, which is tragic. We wasted a thing. Um, we can drop an energy drone, and I think we get a dodge here, and then an energy drone. Yeah, where's my card draw right there? Nowhere. That's sad. We wasted the artifact. Um... Hey, Chase from Brazil, have you ever played Franken? No, I haven't. You needed drone parts like an FTL? I haven't played FTL. Um, well, we're gonna at least do some damage this time, but there's gonna be a lot of counterattacks barreling down through there. So I think uh, a couple of options here. I think I maybe play Solar Breeze. That'll do a lot more damage to it. And then I think we just sidestep the cannon. I think we sidestep the cannon and then... I can't do much else. Yeah, I can't really do much else. I'll just gain a block. Oh, I can draw a card though. <laughs> If I play that, then I draw a card. I don't want to play Solar Breeze though. All right, whatever. There we go. We did lots of damage right there. That was good. This is good. It's not retaliating right now. It's gonna raise its shield. Uh, I think we just try to win right now. Can I move my drones? No. I can get it quite low. Get it quite low. Question is, do I want to summon my attack drone right now? Probably a good idea. Let's just waste that and summon the attack drone. And then it's gonna die next turn unless everything goes horribly, horribly wrong. It died! Alright, nice. We didn't take any permanent damage. Um, block burnout? Interesting. Your max shield is lowered by one, but you gain four block. Jupiter drone. Jupiter drone. Every time you attack, this drone copies your attack. Wow. So we can launch a drone that just cop. If, now, if I if I got a good attack, that'd be good. I think we take the Jupiter drone. Um, and try to see if we can get something that combos with it. Gain one extra battery on the first turn. Every time you heal, heal one more. I don't have any heal right now, so... Oh, Fracture Detection. One enemy part is made brittle. I like that. Rather than one energy, let's get Fracture Detection. So one part of the enemy ship will always be brittle and take double damage, but we don't know where it is. It's always going to be different. That's cool. Let's do it. Wizbo! <laughs> Thou art in the presence of Wizbo the Framgificent. <laughs> wow, cool hat. Thank you. <laughs> uh, let's find that brittle point. Yeah. Um, I really wish my squadron strikers had bubble. I'm going to take that one next. I'm almost certain. Let's see. How do we want to do this? 
I can get my squadron strikers out. Do I want to move before or after that? What if I move once, get my squadron strikers out, and then move twice, and then they will pew pew all over the place? That might be nice. Move one, get my squadron strikers out. Ha! They're ready! And then it is. I could just also block it with the shield drone and save that. I think that's probably better to just block it with. Chump block it with the shield drone. It'll still give us one extra shield, which. Is nice. The enemy's gonna give you a status. This can't be dodged. Be prepared. Ah. Oh, we found the brittle part. Yo. And of course, I have no attacks in my hand when we find the brittle part. <laughs> Sick. Um. But I can move my dudes over, and they can hit it. Too bad I can't move them to the left. If I upgraded this, I could move everybody to the left, and that'd be better, because then they would shoot the brittle part and a different part. Let's see. I also think that playing the dodge here is not a bad idea, because it will really help me get out of a bad situation later. However, DPS is nice, so let's just do some hot DPS. And it gives me one additional shift to use later, which I like as well. There we go, we're gonna hit the brittle part, do tons of damage. We got a Miasma and a Toxic. Ah, a bunch of bad cards. I think I move my dudes over and we just win here because of that brittle, that brittle is nice. And we can even do, we can send out an attack drone. Oh, what did I just do? I think I had a debuff or something. I think I missed something right there. Um, well, nonetheless, we can send out a, what is the solar wind? Oh, a thin plasma stream is pulling small objects in its wake. Before the start of your turn, mid-row objects move one to the right. Interesting. Yeah, I should pay attention to stuff. <laughs> the game feel like it's, feels like it's adding a bunch of stuff, which is good. Um, anyway, I think we have a kill here either way. So I just send out my Jupiter drone. Why is nothing? Oh, there it goes. Okay, we send out my Jupiter drone. We just do an attack. This copies my attack. Oh, it missed that hole right there. That's okay. Because if I just move my nerds over, I think it's dead. It's gonna hit the brittle part and just, that's the end. Pew pew. Nice, I think our ship is doing much better now. I like it. Scoot, I do like scoot. Instantly move three to the right. As a cannon in this deck, I already have a lot of high cost cards. So I'm thinking about your next attack stuns. It can be useful. Does, does this, this doesn't work. Attacks don't work on my drone attacks, do they? That's the same problem we ran into with this. You've never seen or heard of this game before. It's very cute and very interesting. I love the mechanics. If you like roguelikes or deck builders or space stuff, you probably like it. I just finished watching your Outer Wilds playthrough. Great time reliving the discovery, yes. It would from a Jupiter, but not a regular one. Yeah, I was thinking if all of my drones would stun, that would be sick. But since that's not the case, I think I'm gonna get Scoot because Scoot might save my ass. Having a little bit of movement seems essential in this deck. All right, let's find something to upgrade. Hi, Cleo. Hi. Can I get you anything? Upgrade a card. Kind of wanna upgrade. Wait, Isaac, stop. I think I want to upgrade the Squadron Striker so that these guys have bubbles. That means that they take an additional hit so that my drones can literally just tank for me while they're chunking damage. That sounds sick. Tank drones. Rad. Yeah, it's pretty rad. All right, boss time. First time fighting a boss on hard. Let's do it. I love that the wizard ship was a castle. Yes. Sensors are going wild again. Crystal? Crystal, big. Yeah, big crystal again. All right, I wonder if there's gonna be other bosses that we can fight. Uh, my drone should be able to find that brittle point pretty fast. Yeah, Isaac, exactly. We can do a quad battalion to start here. That sounds pretty good to me. Can't come wrong with a quad battalion. Um, of course, a bunch of them are gonna immediately die, but let's not speak of that. Quad battalion! <laughs> All right. I think playing Solar Breeze here 
is not useful because there's nothing I can draw that's... I don't have any zero costs. Having maybe one more zero cost in the deck would be good. Alright. We at least get the shield charge even though that nerd dies. You did your best, Chibo. Um, let's see. Well, my drones are kind of getting wrecked, but we're doing pretty good this turn. I can move one to the right, play my Jupiter drone, and then do some attacks at least. Or I could just get the energy drone down. I feel like the Jupiter drone is maybe going to come more in handy here, but I don't really know. Let's just try it. I also could just save, but having more drones is nice. Let's play our Jupiter drone. Every time you attack, it copies my attack. Yay. And then we can do double damage with that. Pew pew. And we can, um, we actually, it doesn't matter, right? What do I do here? Cause I'm gonna have full block anyway. From my drone there. Ooh, my double bubble strikers. I think we get the double bubble strikers out here. And I don't mind taking some damage. We're doing great. Let's get our double bubble out. Yeah, there they go. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. I could even scoot them if I wanted to, because we do save up a scoot for later. Um, but I think playing the dodge will help us later as well. Oh, we're overheating, aren't we? No, no, no. Less energy next turn. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna take the two because it's going into my shields anyway. I let my double bubble dudes do some DPS. Um, in fact, I can have them block for me even more, and then I can start shooting. Does that sound good? I can use my block shot. No, I can't use my block shot unless I want to move. Um, do I want to use parallel shift so that I have the opportunity to move them again? Or maybe I just scoot? How would that go? I would still take one if I scoot. Another option is to just do a lunge attack. Lunge attack makes it so I only take one, which is still not hurting. Oh, I don't want this to hit my weak point. I think I'm not looking at the weak point either. So that's a good option there, I think. Let's just use launch. Then it's not hitting my weak point. I think we're good. Save this when we need it. Isaac remembering the drones names. Yes. Love it. Um, all right, I think we summon an attack drone and then we get out of the way here. Good. Summon an attack drone. We haven't found the brittle point yet. This dr this name's is, this drone's name is Scoobert. <laughs> Good old Scoobert. Um, this multi shot. I was thinking maybe that was the weak point, but sadly it wasn't. And then I think we GTFO. Um. Probably a good time to use this, though. Maybe it'll come in handy more later. I don't know. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I think I want that guy to take the three. Looking good. Lots of damage coming in. Love the bubble. Uh, can do a little bit of damage and then shield. I think that's a good play here. bit of damage and then lots of block and it's almost dead but all my drones are now gone with the exception of that one do I have enough damage though I have enough damage for the kill so we're good nice we can just do a block shot we don't even need to do the lunge but why not we can scoot over because it's fun Either way, my drone gets the kill. Let's go. You freaking love this game? Yes. You believe in Scoobert? This game is so nice. All right, cool. All right. Oh, we got a heal on our hull. I don't know if we get a... Oh, I see. The ship status. We get two max hull and eight hull increase. Okay, so if we had taken a little more damage, it would have been fine. Perry. can. I love how Perry has Perry. Um, damage equals the total damage of enemies' cannon attacks. 
total damage of enemies' cannon attacks. But it isn't actually preventing the damage, right? <laughs> it's just doing a ton? Yeah, with the Jupiter drone, that could be a massive hit. Uh, bay overload. What is this happening? Missile malfunction? <laughs> what the heck? Okay, gain three energy. Bay overload. Gain three energy for zero. But the downside is the ship's missiles and drones will all launch backwards. I don't know what that means, launch backwards. What does launch backwards mean? It's pointing at you. So this is only useful to not... This is only useful if we spend the energy on something other than missiles and drones. Bay Overload is totally fine as long as you cast it on something other than missiles and drones. But what else am I doing other than that? My own... I don't even know scoot and stuff, but like I don't think I need that shield cards and stuff um scatter shot if uh so we attack and we move the enemy two spaces to the right wait if this attack hits an enemy it will move the enemy two spaces to the right and then we move two to the left i like that i like that i can basically like I can scatter shot if I need to get the heck out of there. Yeah, you go this way, I'll go that way. I think we either take parry here and we try to get a massive double damage hit off of um, off of our drone that copies. This could be interesting to copy as well. Kind of crazy if the th if it, if this gets copied, what even happens? Uh. Hmm. Let's try Scattershot. It sounds fun, and I still feel like we kind of need some movement without rigs. Um, I didn't mean to... Oh, shoot. I'm really dumb sometimes. I just click things. What did I do? Gain one extra energy every turn. All non-parry cards attacks deal one less damage. I didn't mean to click that. That's actually totally fine. Because it doesn't affect, if it affects my drone's damage, I'm literally leaving the game. But I'm assuming it doesn't because it's attacks. Uh, we messed up though. We messed up. Damn it. I want to, um, I think it's, no, I don't even know. I wanted to just like read it, but I'm stupid and clicked the wrong way. Yeah, scatter shot zero damage. Uh, on the plus side, we have one extra energy every turn. Honestly, I think that's fine because one extra energy is going to be useful for our drones. Is that a piece of the crystal? Yeah, it kind of tingles. <laughs> that seems bad. How did you get it? A big net. What? <laughs> Don't hold it so close to me. What are you even going to do with it? Science stuff? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if this affects my drone damage, I'm going to have to uh, quit. But I don't think it does. Because none of the other attack cards have affected it. All right, entering the Sapphire Cluster. Sick. We got... We can quad battalion here, which sounds nice as always. Power drive at one damage to all attacks. What a nerd. Oh, this music. Hell yeah. Why do I want my big beefy bubble boys out? I do like big beefy bubble boys. Problem with the big beefy bubble boys is, well, I could shift them over, actually. Shifting them over will make them do more damage. I say we go for the big beefy bubble boys. Uh, let's see. So that'll be, we're gonna wanna use four, we have four energy to use. We're gonna wanna use this and that. Um, maybe we just get in a, oh, basic shot does no damage. Gotta remove that from my deck now. <laughs> so we can do a shield surge. Get out the big beefy boys. Shift them over. That one will block for me. And pew pew. 
Nice, we found the brittle part. I was hoping we would do that. Um, let's see, we can move? Or I can move my drones, but then I would need something to replace, and I don't have that happening right now. So I think I should move over and then just play an attack drone rather than the Jupiter drone. Yeah, we need to remove some cards from our deck and or rethink what we're doing with our life right now. Oh, I should have scooted. That's what I should have done. That's okay. Get this guy out. And then maybe I do scoot actually right now so that next turn I can summon more drones over here. That sounds good. We've nearly got the win here. And if I scoot my drones over, I think I do just have the win right here. So we could just end turn, right? Oh, it has one shield. Two, three. Unless I've miscalculated something. It's always, I sometimes just like to play stuff in case I've done something stupid and miscalculated. So let's toss out a few things. Get out of the way, but I think it just kills it, right? Yeah. The jam, Ollie, makes you want to play Minecraft. Mm, I'll play Minecraft with you. Uh, okay, we just want parry attacks. All non-parry cards attacks, yeah. Button mash could save us. Button mash could absolutely save us. I think we take button mash. More cards to just get us out of danger while our bots do the work. Uh, we probably should favor card removals here to remove some of the crap that I accidentally added to the deck. But I think we want to fight an elite, so I'm going to go this way, get a card removal, and fight an elite. Getting a weird emergency signal. It says a friendly ship is under attack from themselves. Sockins. <laughs> um, suddenly getting Star Fox vibes. Hey Einstein, I'm on your side. Hello, is this thing on? I made a big old mistake. My missiles, please. I love how there's just missiles flying everywhere. <laughs> Sounds like a trap. So do we help him? Uh, I mean, we gotta know what happens. Let's get toted. Please don't shoot, I'm not hostile. The ship's drones will all launch backwards, decreases by one at the end of turn. I'm gonna put my shield drone out at least and get some block, but I don't know what's happening right now. Oh. By summoning stuff, it just it does destroy them. That's kind of nice. So if I get these nerds out, hopefully I maybe should have not got the attack drone out, but maybe I'll just kill my own attack drone. I think what it wants me to do, will zero damage, will zero damage still kill a drone or no? Question mark smiley face. Well, we can get an energy drone out too. Let's get the energy drone out and see what happens here. We wanna make it so that we want these to not kill him if we can at all do something about that. I can play lunge to kill one of them. That one causes corrode. That one deals two. That one also deals two. Yeah, I guess time to find out. I can parallel shift as well, potentially. Is it enough though? No, because it'll move those as well. Well, let's do lunge and do that. And then... Probably before... I probably need to figure out if this kills them or not. <laughs> this is, oh it does, that's nice. Okay, that's really nice. And I can parallel shift the other one out of there, so let's do that. Oh no, cause it'll move my guys in range to hitting him. Dang, damn it. Yeah. Uh, all right, that's all I can do for you, buddy, sorry. But hopefully we're doing well enough. Yeah, dodge, there you go. There you go. We can bring out the battalion and just kaboom all of them. Let's do it. 
Yeah, there we go. Leave my guy as far away. I'm gonna scoot over here. So that I'm sort of where the other ship is. I'm trying, Soggy. I'm trying, Soggy. Looks like we might be okay. I think I play a drone. Play the attack drone here. Well, it doesn't really matter. Move over. Play the energy drone. Get some dodge. Call it a day. It's gonna take a little bit, but hopefully Soggy's living this. Come on, Soggy. Come on, Soggy. I think we just play two drones. We just sack two drones here. This one is gonna miss anyway. So. Hmm. I think we're just gonna be okay. That one's gonna miss anyway. And then I use this. That's what I do. I use this play my Jupiter drone. Then I move here and play my shield drone. Brittle spot, yeah. Come on! I fixed it! Wait, no. I'm just out of missiles. What? This enemy is going to escape. You got this. Run! <laughs> oh gosh, imagine if it died this turn. That would be tragic. I can basic shot and lunge though, so... Good, I guess. It did have that final turn. Yay! You made it, Soggins. Don't don't ignore the fact that your hull is being corroded. <laughs> Can't thank you enough. Got little tears in its eyes. So I won't. <laughs> what? Seriously? Okay, fine. I offer you one treat. This hard drive, my precious. Okay, the hard drive. Uh, add your deck missile malware. It's a piercing attack that won't do any damage because of my thing. But the ships, missiles, and drone. What? Oh, that's hilarious! It makes the opposing ships, missiles, and drones launch backwards for one turn. That could be really useful. Like every single attack goes backwards. Or is, is maybe only missiles and drones aren't every attack, just missiles and drones. Okay. Um, let's see. Launch a Seeker. Ooh, I like the Seeker. But it actually it only does one thing. Maybe I'll take the artifact. A random artifact. I want to take the artifact. I want to see more... Try to find more synergy with my particular deck. Uh, we got an Isaac artifact. Gain three drone shift on the first turn. Let's go. I can move my drones all around the place now. Let's go. Uh, no, that's fine. I wasn't using that anyway. Yeah, you weren't. Let's go down here and probably take a card removal. Serrazzo. <laughs> you there. Halt thine astral stallion. Uh, hang on. Is my auto translator broken? Nay, this is just how I talk. <laughs> Ratso. <laughs> God. Ah, I see. Prepare for glorious combat. Okay. <laughs> Serrazzo. What say we make this an honorable duel? I shan't target thine weak points if ye deign not to target mine. The problem with this honorable duel is there's a brittle point that I don't know about. So, is that gonna mess with this? <sighs> Both parties agree not to target the other's weaker brother points. The enemy may behave differently if you follow or break the rules. I think a normal fight will be fine because there's a brittle point that I literally don't know where it is. So, standard battle then. No honor to be gained, nor lost. I accept. All right. Damn, we didn't start with our battalion. Uh, what's this nerd gonna do? We already know that the cockpit is brittle. Big ol' missiles coming at me. Let's see. 
Um, well, we can do not much. <laughs> we can get out and attack drone. Maybe I should parallel shift first because I don't want the attack drone. Let's solar breeze first. It will move the asteroid rock, but whatever. Okay, nice. We have an extra drone now. Can maybe make use of that. Um, I maybe also want to play the parallel shift first again. Is it because I don't want to shift my drones? Or do I want to shift my drones to the right? Better than wasting my other stuff, actually. Let's actually, yeah, let's play the Jupiter drone. Shift my stuff to the right and then play an attack drone. Pew pew. Yeah, see, we immediately found the brittle thing. It's shooting little sword missiles at me. <laughs> Look out for that missile. There's my battalion. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> we have a, a minor issue with using the battalion right now. In that two of the drones will instantly be annihilated. What can we do about that? This ship is called the Chariot. I could just move everything out of the way. Maybe that's a good play. What if I just... That is my Jupiter drone. Do I care that much about the Jupiter drone? Not that much. I have some moves here. I have four drone shift. Maybe I would have to drone shift how many times to be able to get my full battalion out. I could play the energy drone. Oh, not enough. Not enough energy. I could play the shield drone. I think we'll just do this and then just get like a fuckload of stuff out. Um, let's see. It's going to be better to shift them to the left because the other one comes out to the right, I think. So all my stuff's going to be over here. But I have a lot of stuff. So we got that going for us, which is nice. And then I'm just going to scooch my way out of the way right there. Goodbye. Come back over here, please. Thank you. Off the mark. Recalibrating. Um, all right, maybe we scoot here. Scattershot moves it to the right, which I don't necessarily want out of life right now. We're gonna hit its brittle spot right there. Um, but I don't know what else to do, so I think we're at least going to... Wait, how would I get a lunge attack in? I might have to use this. I don't think it's worth... Lunge attack will do two right there, but... Maybe I just stay here, because I'm kind of blocked by everything. This is a nice place to hunker down. It's either that or I scoot. I could scoot and lunge. I think I stay near to my dudes. They will protect. I might need to get rid of some cards in this deck if we're gonna have any hope here. All right. Oh, we can get out our bubble boys. How do we make good use of them with our current situation? I don't know if we can. We can certainly get a block going or a dodge going. That's good. Now we can move if we need to. And. Maybe I just, I'm gonna move and just do multi-shot because it's gonna deal brittle damage. Which is nice. And I could get one bubble boy out in exchange for, how many moves do I have? Not enough to make this super worthwhile. I think getting the extra damage out ASAP is going to be useful here just in case. Oh, it breaks the bubble. That's fascinating. This is definitely the play. That is super nice. I could even shift twice and then maybe get a kill right here. If I shift twice, I'm hitting both of its brutal points with my upgraded dudes. Oh, I only have one shift. <laughs> End stream. Um, great. Yeah, alas. I thought I had two for some reason. Um, well then. Well then. <laughs> I think we're good to just end turn here. 
Imagine doing anything. Nice. Well, I feel like our deck is paying off. Probably skip here. Though an extra lunge isn't terrible for... It is. It does actually deal damage and all that. But I think I skip because I don't want to dilute my battalion and my other cards. And I kind of want to do a card removal soon. Let's see. An upgrade could be nice, though. Hi. Can I get you anything? Let's check out our upgrade options. Hi, Fedora. Drone army. Yeah, drone army is a fun way to play the game. What does the Jupiter drone upgrade do? We could have a bubble on our Jupiter drone. Or make it cost zero. I don't really have anything good to use with the Jupiter drone right now. It may be a multi-shot on a weak point would be nice. Um, getting rid of a basic shot would be pretty good, I think, for this deck. Just make us draw our good stuff better. Um, having a bubble, though, on our basic attack drone card would be very nice. So, what's better, better? I think we have some really high value cards in the deck. And the best thing to do is to just start removing these cards that literally do nothing. All gone. Alright, let's get an artifact here. And it doesn't really matter which way we take, so let's just go. Oh, we got the elite first. Um, I don't know if I'll finish Zelda or not. Let's see. Oh, well, we can sack an attack drone. It's like a little tiny crystal. Still got two of these cards. Gotta get rid of more of them. Um, I think we're just blocking here. Question is, do I want my drone to... I'll keep my drone alive and tank the damage. So let's take a drone out. Let's move the drone over. Oh, I can't actually hit right there, can it? Sick. Uh, let's move it over one more, Teehee. And then let's block. And then let's shoot nothing. Why did I draw a card? Oh, because if you miss, you shot a card. No, and I don't want that one. Ah! Oh, man. Sabotaged. Doing a really good job of sabotaging my deck. Mm. Let's see. Probably move this guy over so I can just battalion and not accidentally kill my own stuff. The battalion. All right. I named this drone Lemmy. All right, increase our dodge. Does it slay the Spire Archipelago mod? Oh shit, I'll have to play that next time. Sounds great. Lined up perfectly wrong. Yeah, it couldn't be better. I can shift them though, but do I want to? Because then, yeah, I probably do want to. Uh, do I want to shift them with Solar Breeze? sack two of them but it'll be the two that are gonna block for me so or can I get out of here with I could get out of here with lunge and scoot and wait another day let's start with solar breeze and just see what I draw fun mash all right that's good to have it is good to have I can play this and draw a card. See what I get. Hey. <laughs> oh, I can't act. I won't actually hit it. Lunge and draw a card. Multi shot, draw two cards. No. Um. How many moves do I have? I can move two of my dudes over to. Uh, I can save all of them. I don't know if I want to. I can save all of them by doing this and then just scooting. And then charge up our shields. Sounds good. Alright. Um, probably want to start summoning some things here. Jupiter drone we're not using at all. <laughs> we need some better way to make use of it. Let's get out, probably Solar Breeze. Button Mash is nice to have in hand. Um, let's get out our 
Oh, whatever. Some drone or other. <laughs> Probably doesn't matter too much. Let's move these nerds over. Lots of drones all dying. <laughs> Sick. Oh, that one doesn't retain in my hand until I upgrade it, does it? I have to get the upgrade for this one. All right, finally my bubble friends are back. This is what we needed. guys out ready to cook and we could do a lunch strike but do we want to do that and I think we just get out of the way the brittle point is right there so we do want to focus that if we can I think we just sidestep and call it a day Sidestep and call it a day. We're not doing that much damage, but I don't know what else to be doing with my life right now. All right, probably should move these guys over so they do way more damage. I think we'll do that, but maybe we'll summon an attack drone first. Get an attack drone out. I'm gonna scoot everybody over so we just do a lot more damage to it. Probably worth playing button mash just to get the extra movement. I don't know. I'll kind of be over in the middle of nowhere though. What is? All right, we're getting there. Oh boy. Um, the problem is battalion and squadron strike are both exhaust, so those are kind of like my best cards. I probably could use one additional good summon card. actually kill this thing. I don't know. We're missing damage for sure. Somehow. Yeah. But as far as what to do now, I don't think I have much of an option. I could move everybody. Nah, I don't think it's gonna work. I wish these... I need to like... I don't know. Hi, Spud! <laughs> I just don't have much DPS. I could try moving over here and just multi-shotting it. Could use this to move. But I don't want to get hit for like 20 billion with these guys. On the other hand, we kind of need to get a win here soon, so... Maybe we do do something like that. Gotta have a shield drone. Wait, maybe that's a kill if I move this guy over. I'll get the shield drone just for funsies. If I move over... Which way? I want to move over to the left, too? Yeah. Oh, is this my Jupiter? Oh, okay. I can just attack in the Jupiter. Oh, the Jupiter does zero because I do zero. Sick! Got one HP. Hopefully we can figure something out. Uh, we just line up a lunge and then we kill it. All right. Did I hear you slay in one of your Slay the Spire vids? You might play Noida. Noida? Yeah. Um, I was trying to get Tanuki Dan to play it too. 
I might play that next. Do you like it? Should I play it? Add a wave beam. Ignores all shields and armor. Rock factory. <laughs> Launch one asteroid at the start of every turn. Will block one attack. Oh my god, rock factory. <laughs> this is a silly deck. Where does it launch from? If I knew where it launched from, I might do it. If it launches from my missile bay, then that's bad because it's totally going to just kill all my drones. It is so good. Heck yeah. Rock Factory looks really funny, but I'm a little worried about... Uh... I almost wonder if I should take this for some damage. Oh, it exhausts though. Oh, but the card stays in my deck. If I upgrade it, I add two to your draw pile. That's not bad. What's the difference here? Oh, it does three damage. Hmm. Rock Factory isn't great if you're drone heavy. Does it come from the bay? The missile bay? Yeah, the, I've, I'm worried about my rocks. Like, I mean, I could see this being sick, but I'm also really worried about it being uh, blocking all my drones. I'm going to take wave charge because I feel like we need some damage in our deck. Uh... Or some additional drones that I'm not getting. Let's see. The extra energy. I don't know. Gain one max hull and heal every time you defeat a boss. I don't think so. Is that a combat gain temporary shield equal to your missing hull? That's interesting. It's only bad if you don't have drone shift. Yeah, I was thinking I might have enough drone shift for it. That's what I was thinking about. I don't know if I want the... I mean, I may as well take this... Do I want this gain plus one max hole and heal one every time you defeat a boss or elite? Maybe this will help save my ass later. Uh, but extra energy on the first turn, maybe it'll come in handy. All right, let's get another artifact here. Are these the same ones? Adaptive plating, gain one energy for every every time you spend three plus energy. Ooh, I do like that one, but it's only battalion right now. Fine, I'll take the adaptive plating. All right. Oh, it should be back? Wait, it didn't die on my end. That's weird. It didn't die on my end. Is it reading come from the... Uh... <laughs> That's so weird. It. I didn't drop any frames. That was weird. I don't know what happened. There was no frame drops on my end. Um, send in the battalion. Maybe I should shoot it first for nothing. <laughs> uh, probably don't want to get hit by that in my weak spot. What's it going to do here? A status if it hits. Send in the battalion. All right, I don't mind my shield drones dying. Maybe we'll find the weak point. Um, I could get an energy drone out too if I use solar breeze, but then do I really want to do that? Why not? YOLO. Oh, we get a multi-shot. Alright, we got five drones out on the first turn. Surely we can't lose. <laughs> hey, three of them died. <laughs> Um, uh, juice is out of juice. We need a second good drone summon card. Or a third good one. Which is weird. Yeah, I'm not dropping any frames. That's weird. Um, how do we do something useful with our life at this moment in time? We're just going to take one there. Don't really care. Send out an attack drone. And get a bunch of shield. We're getting pew pewed. There's a missile coming out of there. Oh, wave charge. Yeah, did we find that brittle spot? We did. I'm not too sure I'm going to be able to do anything about it, though, because of the amount of 
It'll do four damage. I have shield drones. Maybe I just lunge and send it. I think I lunge and send it. It's fine, and we just summon another shield drone. Let's do it. I'm sending it. Uh, add a wave beam to your hand. Yeah. Kablamo! Send in the shield drone. I could... No, I can't move enough to get out of it, so... I could just sack one of the shield drones instead. That's probably better. Let's just... Oh, it's gonna hit twice, though, so it's not that useful. I'll just take the four. They're gonna take me back two up in another turn anyway. It's fine. Um... Yes, my squadron is coming. All right, good, good, good. I think we get the squadron out here. Get the squadron here. Nice. Those guys are gonna do massive damage. Uh, we get some dodge going here. And uh, maybe I lunge just to move out of the way a little bit. Probably doesn't matter too much though. I like the way that's set up right now. Oh, uh, let's lunge. What? What? Why didn't it move? Hello? Why did it shoot my drone instead of... Engine stall. The next one moves will fail. Shit! Oh, I didn't see that. Oopsie doopsies. Sorry, friend. Um, in that case, do I want to shift my drones at all? Or no? Or does that count as movement? Um... Nah, let's just do big damage. We're gonna do so much damage to it this turn. Yeah. I lost a dude, but whatever. Um, can't get over to the brittle part, I don't think. I don't have any debuffs anymore, so that's good. I do have this schmissel right here. I could just move, I could scooch one to the left. I kind of wanna, do I wanna summon anything? Hmm. I need some way to actually finish this nerd off. What if I Solar Breeze? I have a lot of movement. I'm almost like, can I move my guy all the way over there? Might not be worth it, but let's see what I draw. Not worth it. Rip. Well, let's move one to the left and move these guys over. Oh, wait. No, I should have just... I should have played energy drone first and just killed them. Well, it doesn't matter too much either way, I guess. Yeah. All right, whatever. Gain some block. Missile goes by me. Pass the turn. All right, now maybe we can get the kill here. Feels close. I can wave beam this nerd for the kill, right? Cause it'll, it, oh, ignore shields and armor. What happens? Scoot is not good though. Dang it, Scoot wasn't quite, oh, Glissade takes me there though. Hmm. Let me see what happens if I do, I've only got one move. Well, these two, no. Wait, how do I do this right? I think I use this, basic shot, and then wave beam. I think that's what I do. This moves me over two. Basic shot kills the missile, and wave beam kills the nerd. All right, good. There we go. Got EMP. <laughs> Cancel every single intent on the enemy ship. So they lose all their shield and all their intents. We, our shield goes to zero. Our shield going to zero isn't that big of a deal. Instantly ends your turn. We slayed some spires. Thanks, Cold Stare. Um. Escalate. Nope. 
Solar Breeze is okay. I'll take EMP. Maybe it comes in handy. Try it out. Only two shields, so not great against this one. Um, let us summon our drones. Let us droninate. Yeah, EMP could bail me out if things go wrong. Um, might be sacking the Jupiter drone here. <laughs> Let's get our attack drone out. Sorry, Jupiter drone. Deal no damage though. Yay, go Jupiter Drone. That would, that really was unfortunate that, that I just accidentally grabbed that artifact. Alright, we can get my nerds out. This looks nice. Um, where do I want the nerds? I can move them quite a bit. Maybe it'd be good to block with them. Get an energy drone and the squadron out. Let's get an energy drone and the squadron out. Now question is do I use this or do I just move them over twice? I think I move them over twice for extra damage. And my energy drone can tank that, it's fine. Maybe we'll find the brittle point. No, but good damage. Good damage at least. Um, we can play a shield drone here. Like that. And do I want to save this guy? I think not, because I don't want to take damage. Maybe I do want to take damage with the shield drone, now that I think about it. I think me taking damage here is actually better. Let's take some damage. Yeah, it's fine. Let's take some damage. Dang, didn't find the brittle point yet. Now, if I EMP... every single intent. The missile will still hit, I think. I think the missile will be unaffected by the MP. That's the downside of it. Um, but I have a battalion. <laughs> so that's nice. I can also lunge EMP? Hold on, what about lunge EMP? Maybe that's a hot play here. As long as EMP... Let's my dudes keep firing, then I think this is a good play. Let's do Lunge EMP. Found the brittle point too, nice. Uh, let's move this guy so that it's hitting the brittle point then. And let's EMP. Yeah, my guy is still hit, there we go. That's nice with the drones. I think this is GG here, right? How can we do this? Oh, it's just GG if I pass the turn, I think. Uh, but for funsies, pew pew. Got him. Yeah, EMP helped out there for sure. Multi blast. Um, I want to take more drone cards, not more of these. I think my one card is okay. I mean, hitting the weak point with this would be sick. <laughs> I mean, it's eight damage of hitting the weak point with this multi-blast. So, like, there's definitely something. Yeah, I was thinking EMP might be good with the drones. There's something to be said for taking this and trying to get the eight on the brittle. But in a big fight, I don't know. I just want to find my drone cards more. I'll take this under the hope that we actually get another drone card. Meowdy!
Not in front of everyone, please! Can I get you anything? Oh, I love the characters in this. Um, upgrading one of my basic drones, I think, is a good idea, because I'm... They're not... These attack drones are not doing very much anymore. Either that or remove one of these crap from my hand. Hmm, there's some good stuff to upgrade. If I upgrade the attack drone, I can either have it have a bubble, or just be... A constant source of a two damage boyo. The Jupiter drone upgrade. I'm not making good enough use of it right now to care, I don't think. I like the button mash upgrade. What does EMP upgrade do? Oh, EMP A makes it no longer affect my shield. That's interesting. Um, or EMP B just makes it a little cheaper to cast. Really feeling like attacking or upgrading my attack drone card would be good. This wouldn't be bad either. Got an even better wave beam. Uh, or two wave beams, but they're in your draw pile. Um, I'm gonna upgrade my attack drone. I think. Scatter. Oh, either direction scatter shot would be very helpful. I just need more dronage going on right now. Do I want the bubble? The bubble is probably going to save my ass sometime, so let's take the bubble for the defense. Heck yeah. All right, let's try the boss. It's evil rigs again. Hey, it's the fake time clones again. <laughs> what did you call us? Dead still just like that. I'm lining up my cannons. All right. Evil rigs. Oh, we can start with my bubble squadron of doom. Do quite like that. This part is weak. I think we send in an attack drone and these nerds. And we can even start it off with the wave charge that we get cooking. Let's do that. So we do the wave beam, boom. We get attack drone out and the squadron. Yeah. Big damage coming in hot. <laughs> Love the music for this one. Didn't find the brittle point yet. Oh, I can cancel the missile bays in 10. But. I could just EMP this shit. This is like a good EMP turn. This is a great EMP turn. It takes off six shields. Hold on. Oh, I can't do it. No. Oh, I got wrecked so hard. Oh, man. That's tragic. I got wrecked. I'll be in 85 months. I run a question before I go watch the VOD. Am I gonna have a bunch of space dinosaur themed puns to enjoy? Not enough of them, zero point. We need more. Should I leave this up? Yeah, great music and it is very fun. Well, nuts. I really wish I could have EMP'd there. Um, in that case, what's the best we can do? Shift these nerds, but I kind of like the actually I kind of like the idea of shifting these guys one to the left, um, just so none of them die and they keep doing damage. But I'm not sure what'll happen when it launches it. I guess it'll just smash into it and die when it. Yeah, it'll smash into it and die anyway. Man, EMP would have been so good here. All right. How about I do this so that one doesn't die? Now I can summon some stuff. I can get a shield drone out and just take one and be happy with my life. It's not the worst thing in the world. Or I can get an energy drone out. I think I'm more likely to want the shield drone. Pump it up some energy. I think that's good enough. Mm -hmm. 
All right, we're dodging the missiles, but potential issues otherwise. Oh, did we find the brittle point? We did. Cool. Um, I think I'm probably good here to just stay where I'm at. Because if I move anywhere, it's probably going to be worse than where I'm at right now. So I could scatter shot this nerd. Not really. I mean, I could scatter shot this nerd. Do I want to do that? I don't know. Don't think so. Nor do I think I really want to play much of anything else. I have shield coming in and only taking two, so I think I just passed the turn here. Jupiter drone never really found a good use. Jisma, hello. Give it a sub. And hi, uh, the the meat. Hi, the meat. That's what it is. Always forget your name. Uh, we have a battalion. The battalion also didn't end up really being as good as I wanted it to be. Um, probably this battalion. Well, all these drones are dying. <laughs> all my drones everywhere are dying. It's really a shame we didn't get that. Uh... Maybe it would have been better to just keep these two right in the center. I don't know. Tragic. Well, we got a battalion, but we also lost like every... Oh, it goes there? Oh, whoopsies. Oh, man. No. <laughs> Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Dang, nab it. Oh, I don't have any more men either. Well, I think we just sidestep this. Uh, take our two and like it. Dang. Is this a space battle puzzle game? Where has this been in my life? Looks so cool. Yeah, it does, it is, um, so it's a card game. It's a deck builder roguelike. So like, you get, you have different characters and you see how their color matches the color of the card. Um, so you have different characters that you can get and they each have different types of cards. I'm trying one uh, called Isaac who like sends out a bunch of these little drones here. So this is like an attack drone and this is a shield drone. It's my first time playing it and I'm doing everything horribly wrong, um, but it's very fun. Very cute characters. And so yeah, you proceed through the game um, getting all these different card options and you sort of have to choose what you want in your deck and it changes how your your build plays out. Um, problem is, is that I'm going to be running out of good ways to deal damage here in a second. This is the brittle part, which is nice. Maybe I shift these nerds over and I pew 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 through that. Let's see what we draw actually. Shift these nerds over one and see what I draw. Shield drone. There's always button mash. <laughs> I'm gonna do the four damage while I can. Four damage seems pretty useful here. Probably sack one of these drones, at least one of these drones, depending. Yeah, I think I'll sack this shield drone. Um, we can play shield surge, which will keep us healthy enough for now. now yeah the music's great I love the art okay if we can multi-blast this thing 
that's almost a GG right there. That's eight damage to multi-blast this. I'm sure we can make this happen somehow. Maybe move these guys to the left, and then I just scoot my way over there with the glissade, and I think that's GG, right? Scoot these guys to the left. Oh, it has two temporary shields. That's a small problem. Uh, Jupiter drone, though. Now we get the Jupiter. Now is the Jupiter drone's time to shine. Finally, do I have enough mana for everything here? I think I do. Enough energy. I think we play the Jupiter drone. At some point, I can send the Jupiter drone to the brittle part. So the Jupiter drone copies any attack that I do. So if I send this guy out, um, I need to go over here to attack this weak point where it says brittle. So I'm gonna move my dudes over. And then I'm gonna play this card that shifts my ship over to, boom. So I shift my ship over, so now I'm attacking the brittle part. It's lined up with my cannons. And I multi-blast that sucker, pew pew. The Jupiter drone copied the multi-blast and I hit its weak spot and yeah. Lilo Dallas multi-blast. <laughs> oh shit. All right, let's go. Yeah, that was big. I want more Isaac cards and I'm not getting them. Corrosion beam though. This status we apply to the enemy wherever they are deals two whole damage every turn. I like this because we just set that cooking while my drones keep me alive. This is a card that could really work well with our drones, I think. Um, chip shot is... This won't be affected by our artifact, right? All non parry card attacks deal one less damage. I hope that's not affected by this. If it is, I'm going to be mega sad. Rest in peace, pirate rigs. Yeah, right? I got nothing for space dino puns. So I tried to get chat GPT to come up with something. It's so bad. Why did the dinosaur astronaut refuse to share its snacks during the space mission? Because it was a little meteoractal about its food. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. I'm taking corrosion beam. I think it's good synergy with our deck. Permanently gain one max shield on pickup. Gain one shield at the start of every turn, but if shield was full, take two hull damage. Oh my god. Um, I don't want that. We're going to take hull damage. Berserker drive. At the start of combat, gain one power drive. On the second turn of combat, your enemy also gains one power drive. Power drive is added, is added extra damage. That's terrible for us because it doesn't affect our drones. Shield burst. Every time you gain any shield, gain one temporary shield. That's perfect. Give us lots of extra shield. I'll take it. All right. Now we're warping to the last sector here. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, the cicada drone. <laughs> nice. Uh, we're about to take big damage. You love to see it. We can always button mash out of this though. One, two, three spaces. Yeah, button mash works well here. I would love to apply Corrosion Beam if we can though. We have five energy. So why don't we apply Corrosion Beam to get it cooking, but also GTFO. Actually, we could just move one and then tank the rest. I definitely want to apply Corrosion Beam. Boom. Every turn, their ship's going to take two damage. So now, if we play defensively, we'll be rewarded. Or we pray that this is the weak spot and we just wave smash. No, 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 no. Um, we could do a block and a block shot. And now we have tons of blocking. Let's use one of our ship's movement. This is the evade right here. One of it to get out of the way. We're only gonna take two, but we have all this shield down here. We're good. And they're gonna take two every turn, which we like. No damage, ha, yeah, you tell them, Dizzy. Uh, we got our squadron ready, let's go. We got the whole squad here. I'm gonna probably squad multi-blast this. Though it does have temporary shields, so multi-blast isn't as good right now. In that case, let's bring out the squad. Um, maybe just scoot out of the way. Kinda like the, kinda like a scoot right here. Or we just chump block the energy drone. What's this? Uh, gain two less energy next turn, right? The energy drone would be good for that, but I don't have enough mana to really do everything that I want. I'm just gonna get out of here by 
Screw out of the way. Masterful dodge. Pew pew. The hole is just corroding right now. What, you nerd? You ran all the way over here. You're a nerd. What if I scatter this nerd right now? What then, nerd? Um, well, I definitely don't want my we my cockpit, which is weak, to take all this three damage. So we gotta do something about that. Um, though we could just shield drone a tank it, to be honest. We're doing pretty, pretty nice here. But I feel like we need to use scatter shot. We never do. Pew pew! <laughs> that was fun. I liked it. Shield burst value, true. All right, we found the weak spot. Oh, we can EMP here, hell yeah. Oh my God, EMP is gonna go hard here, I think. Yeah, EMP is gonna go hard here. All right, we send in our nerds to attack the weak point and we just EMP this shit. We can even get down an attack drone. We can get down an attack drone and then e EMP is saving us. EMP takes away all of our shields, but all of their shields, and ends their turn in our turn. Or like, all their intents and my, and my turn just end. And our, But our drones just pew 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 the whole time. It's pretty nice. And it's almost just dead now, I think. Um, is this just GG here if I just pass the turn? That was hot. Oh, EMP doesn't remove temporary shield? I didn't notice that. That's cool. Um, I think I just end the turn here rather than try to do anything because we're gonna do big DPS And it dies from the corroded hull Multi stun a <laughs> So this is uncommon whenever it's a or sorry. This is upgraded whenever it says a or B. That means it's an upgraded card Cancel the intent of the targeted shift ship part and move one space to the left. Oh, I get what this does I get what this does. Um, it it cancels the intent of the part that it's at, and then it moves over one, and then it cancels the intent of the ship part there, and then it moves over one, and then it cancels the intent of the ship part there. So it basically cancels three spots in a row, including the one that you end on. But it deals no damage. Oh, it would normally deal three. That's tragic. That's tragic. The problem with this is I've seen myself hitting my own drones with it. All right. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of sad that we ended up with this artifact. We have extra energy, but any non-parry cards deal one less damage, so it's not in our interest to take these types of cards. This game is like the Matrix. Let's take an event, and then decide if we want to take that elite fight or not. Bet you won't let us shuffle all your ship parts. Oh, yes, I will. <laughs> oh, I only gained one hull out of it. Wait, no, I don't. Oh, my God. As much as I like shuffling, oh, one hull is not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it. I'm sorry, Celine. All right. You want me to do it? Oh, it'd be nice to reveal the brittle. True. I like Celine, but... Oh, man. For one hole. For chaos. It is funny to look at when it happens. The reason I don't want to do it is I kind of have a system down with where the missile bay is placed. And I just, I know it's going to confuse me because I'm just starting this character. I don't want to get confused and place missiles and place my drones in the wrong place. Uh, this is weird. Get out of here, rock stealers. There are rocks now. <laughs> Duncan. Um... I almost passed this turn. I start out with three movement, but do I really want to waste it just on getting like a shield drone into this gap right here? Uh, oh, it wouldn't work anyway, because it would go right here. I could shoot this asteroid, move over one and drop a shield drone in there. I guess the advantage, or can I scoot into the gap? Wait, I could just scoot into the gap maybe? One, two, three, that's perfect. We scoot into the gap. I could also do this. I mean, I may as well cast it, right? Let's scoot. Add a wave beam that we'll be able to draw later now for free. Uh, get a happy little shield drone down. And it'll start charging our shields, so that's nice. Okay, we have the, the squad is ready. 
but we're full of asteroids. So we got that as a minor issue here, but maybe we solar breeze this shit. And then we plop down. Oh, the fact that they heal, they deal damage three times is somewhat annoying because that will drill through my shields of my dudes. I don't like that. It'll drill through the rocks too, that's right. I'm remembering how this goes. Um, it's a good play here then. This guy's gonna be a little annoying. I'm almost tempted to hold on to this. I don't know if I... I kind of want to keep my drones alive. I don't just want them to get drilled into nothingness by these nerds. And I feel like they're going to get drilled into nothingness if I use them right now. So let's at least... Let's scooch out of the way so it's hitting rocks and then see what else we get. Energy drone. Um, this is kind of iffy right now because I should, I should at least sidestep one of these. Don't like it. Don't like it. Maybe I get the squadron strikers out anyway, and I let one of them die. Or I just sidestep. We have enough shield, especially with shield, shield surge. Okay, I'm gonna, the thing is, is this keeps dealing more and more damage and I'm worried about this fight escalating. This might kill me actually, cause it's hard for me to, this actually, this fight sucks for me. This fight is terrible, because this keeps going up in damage. I don't see a way out of this. Like, three turns from now, I think we're dead with this character. Hmm. You can just button mash this turn. I want to get the squad out, but the squad is dead. The squad is very dead. This looks, this looks very bad. Hmm. I think I'm gonna save the squad. Probably just shield surge. Or button mash. Button mash is a, button mash is a save us later card though. So I think I save it for later. Faith in the EMV, right? Hmm. Okay. In that case, maybe I just scooch one over and then shield surge so I don't take any damage. I don't know what my long-term plan is though. Don't know what my long-term plan is here. It'd be nice to get one of these down. There's no downside actually. Let's use parallel shift too. That gives us an extra ability to move stuff later in the future if we need it. All right, I'm gonna save these. I don't think it's in my interest to just get them killed for nothing right now. Well, if we find the weak point on the ship, multi-blast could come in handy here. Oh, one times four. A bit rough here. I just don't think I have the movement for this fight. I feel like I don't want to exhaust EMP yet either. I feel like I have to save it. And I can't do shit here. It's one damage four times, which means it will drill through any of my dude's shields, including the rock. So it'll drill through the rock and then hit me for three, which is bad news bears. Maybe I use the glissade here. I don't know how much, but I'm gonna take more and more and more damage. So I feel like I need to save those. But the reason, no, I don't even wanna, ah, ah. <laughs> this looks real bad. Because it, then it's going to go to 1 to 5, 1 to 6, 1 to 7, and I have no damage out. And I don't know how to get damage out. Because these freaking rocks are in the way. 
Like, this doesn't even get damage out. It just destroys all these rocks and all my dudes. It's like, like what's the point? This fight sucks for this character. I don't know what to do here. This feels really bad for me. Maybe I just use this. I don't want to use this, but I don't know what else to do. The shitty thing is, is I like can't even... I definitely need to get rid of some of these rocks so I can make something in the gaps of the rocks. But it ain't great still. It ain't great still. I can move these guys around and blow up another hole and like put I don't know, it just feels bad. This feels very bad. I think frick it cools down for a second. Uh, corrosion beam will eventually give us an out, so I think we apply corrosion beam here, absolutely. And then just a dodge that we will pray will save us at some point. Now we wait for that corrosion to work, yep. Stall and pray. The EMP is good with corrosion too. EMP would be good to take off all these shields. So I think we maybe EMP. I think we may be EMP here to take off all the shields, too. Let's see if I have any other way out of this. Maybe Scatter is good here. Hold on, Scatter might be the play here. Yeah, Scatter is the play here. Oh, save the EMP for the last, for when we really need it. Scatter shot saves our ass here. All right, this is good, this is good. We only have to stall for eight more turns. <laughs> I probably get my squadron strikers out now because I can do it pretty safely now. Um, yeah, I think I get my squad out right now. Probably by moving this over one. And then I get the squad out. All right. I think we can do this. Yeah, see now it goes to 1-6 and it keeps on drilling. Um, button mash is gonna save my ass at some point too. We're not doing great here though, that's for sure. Luckily we've got a lot of shield, but we're still kind of in an iffy spot right now, I feel. I could place down the Jupiter drone, but do I want to? You draw a card for every time you miss a shot. I don't know if I want to draw anything else though. I think I scooch over one here. Um, maybe play the Jupiter drone and scooch over one. It's either that or play the block shot. We scooch over one and play block shot so we get some, so we don't take any hull damage. Probably avoiding hull damage is better than a Jupiter drone. The Jupiter drone could bail us out. There's always a chance it bails us out pretty hard. So let's let's do the Jupiter drone. And then uh, we definitely need to sidestep that weak point right there. Or we're dead. And uh, definitely don't want to use parallel shift. It's not going to help us. Yeah, the drills become outrageous. Luckily, it's corroding, and it's also dodging absolutely everything. Um, I can lunge multi-blast here, and that'll do some good damage to this, potentially. Because my Jupiter drone will copy it. Oh, my Jupiter drone... Hopefully lunge... Yeah. My Jupiter drone won't lunge, right? So, if I do lunge, my Jupiter drone will fire right there. And then I can do multi-blast, multi-shot, and do actually some quite decent damage here. Let's start with the multi-shot. Go Jupiter Drone! And then multi-blast is gonna actually do some sick DPS right now on the Jupiter Drone. Hell yeah. 
All right, maybe we're getting out of here. Um, I almost want to save the bubble here. Actually, you know what? I need to. I should move these guys in. I should move these guys in like this, so they do even more damage. Yo, we're winning this fight. Let's go. Then these guys will chonk chonk. Oh my gosh, Jupiter drone redemption arc right there. Yeah. Nice. Um, I definitely like the idea of momentum, but I do have a lot of shield already, so um, I think I skip because I've already got enough attacks. I'm glad I added a couple of these parry attacks to work with this artifact that I accidentally got, power diversion, but I don't think I necessarily want to fill my hand with too many attacks at this point. I don't know though. We're charging bad, but no, no, no I think I'm good. I don't want to dilute out anything too badly here. Okay, I'm tempted towards the repair yard instead of getting another artifact. Just because there's a lot of stuff I want to upgrade or even to remove would be good. But upgrading my drone seems good. Like, now I got the bubble on that guy. Um, I could get a bubble on my energy drone, which would be nice. Or what's the upgrade on the shield drone? Oh, I could get a shield drone that makes two shield drones. That's nice. Or just put a bubble on one. I also like the idea of just removing more cards to my deck. I'm gonna go for that. Even though the artifacts can be good. Most of my artifacts aren't changing very much. Uh, it's between an upgrade and a remove for me. Removing these basic shots is very valuable. Upgrading the EMP could be nice though. Or upgrading the button mash so it stays in my hand would also be very nice. I'm not sure I need to upgrade the EMP. Two cost would be good. Sometimes. Uh, the Jupiter drone could have a bubble. That would be nice too. We're becoming crab. Uh, Arcano, thank you so much for the three months. This is your favorite deck builder. It's really fun. Okay, I am going to remove one of these basic shots that literally do zero, da zero damage. I think that's going to be very helpful for our deck. The hopper. Uh, we can send in the squad. Anything else we can do? It might not be bad for me to take one. Oh, what's this going to do? Auto dodge. If fired on, it will completely move out of the way to the left. Gotcha. So maybe I'm not going to worry too much about trying to get off any of these attacks. Maybe I just send in the squad. It'll completely move out of the way to the left. Make you want to play FTL? Maybe I'll play FTL after this. Well, I'm gonna send in the squad and probably just move them over to do big damage, even though they'll lose some of their shields. But I'm not sure what the like complete dodge is gonna do for these. It'd be nice to play Solar Breeze or something to draw a card. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll play Solar Breeze to draw a card. Oh, I'm glad I did. I got the Corrosion Beam. Let's go. Let's apply the Corrosion Beam. Uh, let's move the nerds back over and just have them do damage. They might even hit a weak point and do big DPS here. Oh, it does dodge it. Okay. Well, I figured if that was the case, it's not going to matter what I do. So That's good. Um, it still has another auto dodge, which is somewhat silly. Let's just, I think, just end the turn. Because I don't see a good way to get this attack drone out. Oh, I can add a wave beam and then get it in the deck for later. Let's do that. Yeah, it still just dodges it, but this is fine. I mean, it's dying. Oh, all right, now we're doing this. Now it's gonna dodge to the right. What a nerd. What an utter, utter nerd. Um, I can block with my dude, but it's just going to go away to the right again. So, 
Because that's still going to hit me for three, though, if I don't move. Can I get the battalion out here? It's hard to do. I can move the nerds out, get a Jupiter drone cooking, at least. Um, then I think I have to shift these guys over a bit to make it dodge. It's going to dodge to the right, so let's do that. Apply some block, get a shield drone out, and turn, and it just dodges anyway, I think. Yeah, which is good. It's going to die to the corrosion. This is fine. Scoot. Uh, I'm just going to scoot out of the way and end the turn. It dies to the corrosion in two turns, so just let that happen. I think I just passed turn and it dies to the corrosion. EMP nerd. Get corroded. Nice. Um, I would really like another... I oh, this is an Isaac card. Oh. This launches a missile and attacks for two. Hmm. It's common, sadly. This is an upgraded uncommon, but I don't like this card very much. It's not what we need in our deck. I'm skipping. Get an artifact, though. Get an Isaac artifact. Every four Isaac cards played, gain a bubble. The next object you have has a bubble. Sure. Maybe Armored Bay. Your Missile Bay gains armor. This part takes one less damage. Oh, so if anything hits the Armored Bay, it deals less damage. We could try to do that, but I like having bubbled uh, bubble dudes out. That'll be good. Like, my battalion will always summon someone with a bubble now. I like that. My head hurts. Oh, not this guy again. An extra planner being. What do you value the most? Healing, damage, or evasion? Oh, wow. Add a card to your draw file. Heal four whole, single use, completely reason your deck. I don't think so. Um, oh my gosh, zero for seven for a big chonker, but it completely removes it from the deck. Uh, I think five evade, single use five evade could like save our ass on a boss fight. The seven damage is nothing to scoff at. I think I take the five evade, and we try to save it for the, try to save it for the final boss. Imagine the Jupiter with plus seven. I know, on the brittle point, it's just like GG's instantly. <laughs> um, we can play both the Corrosion Beam here and the Squad Strike, which is quite a nice start. If it does hit me... Wait, it has heat? Oh my god, I love this. Gemma. Um, do I buy the Corrosion Beam and the Squad? Probably. We both are hot. Does this apply heat if it hits me? I don't think so. Let's use the corrosion beam and the squad. If only this took one less damage. <laughs> uh, I have a debuff. Oh, it's the energy next turn. I think I just sidestep this. I don't want to take three yet. And I could try to save my dudes, but I think I just let them I think I just let them hit right now. Find that weak point. Didn't find the weak point. Boom boom boom. Oh the solar flare just happens all the time. That's annoying. Uh, due to intense astronomical activity, you and the enemy ship both gain one heat before the start of your turn. Damn, so we're kind of on a kind of on a clock here. Um, it's kind of annoying because the overheating, when it's three or more at the end of turn, take one hole damage and reset heat to zero. So we're just gonna take some hole damage here, and I don't know anywhere around that. Moderately unfortunate. The enemy is going to give you a card wherever you are. Gotta find that weak point here. So let's shift these guys over one to try to find the weak point, I think. But let's get out a shield down before we do that. And we can charge our block up a little bit. But let's move these guys over so that 
They can keep trying to find the weak point. There it is. Nice. That's good. We're doing some good damage. But our comms have been jammed. We've got to lose some heat. I don't know how to lose heat. Can I even do that? Maybe there are cards that do it that I just don't have. Um, I think I try to multi-blast this if I possibly can here. I think I move two to the left and I multi-blast that shit. Seems good to me. I'm trying to think if there's some way to do it with the Jupiter drone, but I don't think so. Maybe with enough moves there would be. <laughs> if I move one to the left, make a Jupiter drone. I move one to the left, make a Jupiter drone. Move those guys two to the right, and then I move one to the left, and then we full send? Maybe that works. Okay, I move one to the left. Maybe even lunge is good too. I move one to the left, make a Jupiter drone. How about Callisto? This drone's called Callisto. Okay, I think we're cooking here. Cooking the enemy ship. I could just move them over twice and me over once. Or I could go over to the right, but then I'm taking damage from this and I don't like that as much. So let's move these guys over twice and me over once. Oh, maybe I could have even gotten an attack drone somewhere in there. I don't know. Um, but nonetheless, multi-blast this bitch. Boom, 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 boom. And now it's dead next turn. Glad I ended up taking multi-blast. We did take one hull damage, but that's okay. Small boulder. These are all Isaac cards. Repair kit. Interesting. Launch an object from your missile bay. Destroying it will heal its destroyer's its destroyer's hull. Wait, destroying it will heal its destroyer's hull. Oh, I can heal my opponent too. That sucks. <laughs> destroying it will heal its destroyer's hull. That's interesting. Uh, space mine. Launch an object. Destroying it will damage its. Oh, it's the opposite of the mine. <laughs> Small boulder. I want more drones. Alright, we can upgrade at least. Hi, Cleo. Do I want... Um, probably remove a card or upgrade a card. I'm not quite sure which one to upgrade. Maybe that Jupiter drone. The more I think about it, the bubble on the Jupiter drone has some serious utility. Let's get a bubble on our Jupiter drone. Nice. All right, final boss coming up. Here we go. Can we do it? All right, same plan as last time, I guess. Self-upload initiated by cat.exe. All right, cool, let's go. Let's go. Well, we can start off with a turn one battalion. Can't complain too much about that. Minus the fact that there's big damage coming in. But let's get the battalion out. Boom. Shouldn't one of them have gotten a bubble? Or did I not get that? Maybe I didn't get that. I don't know. It's for four cards, not objects. Aw, oh, man. Oh, it's this right here. Every four Isaac cards play, I'd gain a bubble. I see, I see. Dag, nab it. Uh, we still have two energy left, so we definitely don't want to go to the right. The right is sadness. So I think we want to go to the left. Question is whether we get an energy drone out or not. Um, I don't think I want to sack. Actually, wait. So I need to move one to the left pretty much no matter what here. Oh, I don't have enough for the energy drone. I think we just move one to the left and call it a day. Um, yeah, I think we just call it a day here. All right. 
charging up my shields. We can apply Corrosion Beam. I don't want to EMP until we have more DPS coming out. I like this though. This is like maybe a good turn to just drop a Shield Drone and a Corrosion Beam. Because... Maybe... Definitely need to block this stuff. We're gonna get some debuffs though. I could stop this. This cannon is going to attack you. This part cancels when hit. Is there some way to hit it that's decent here? I don't think so. Scatter shot. <laughs> oh. Don't know if I want to be scattering it right now. I mean, scatter would protect my drones to some extent. But I think applying corrosion beam is invaluable, so we need to just do that. And whether I sack the drone or use the basic block, I guess I'll start getting closer to the bubble, so let's just sack the drone. All right, at least now it's on a clock. A 30 turn clock. <laughs> We can stall for 30 turns, it's fine. Oh man. Uh, there's no point in not using the ephemeral dodge here. Let's just get 5 evade that we can use whenever. So let's start with that. Um. Oh, did we find the brittle? We did find the brittle point, it's over there. That's at least something. We can probably get rid of the trash here because I don't even have enough cards. So, so maybe we draw something from Solar Breeze. Let's try it. Drew a multi shot. Um, I could move this nerd over to just get a little bit of extra damage in, but it almost might be better to keep it alive or not do that. I don't know. Uh, we're okay taking three here. It's not even going to go through our shield, so. Um, I don't think we want to play lunge in any world here. Let's just play multi-shot and call it a day, probably. Pew pew. Play multi-shot, take three. I think that's gonna... Hey, Google. Oh yeah, this is concussible, so the drone can shoot that. So I could put the drone on the brittle part, take an extra one here, and have the drone deal double damage. If I want to take an extra one for that. Maybe... We'll just leave it where it is. Alright, we got a big fat missile coming in. Ah! Well, we do have an opportunity to do some big damage to it right now, but we also need to not die, so... Um, interesting options here. The Jupiter Drone really gives us an opportunity to do big damage here as well. If we play a Jupiter Drone... I think that's the play. I think we try to go for as much damage here as we can. And of course I've got to find some way to not take five, but I should, I should be able to do that. What happens if I play an attack drone and then I smash it into this heavy missile? <laughs> I don't know exactly what will happen from that. Um, or like, what if I just move this guy over twice and smash it into the heavy missile? I assume they just collide with each other. Oh no, the missile moves. The missile itself moves, that's what happens. Um, so maybe we'll be able to move the missile. Yeah, we'll be able to move the missile away. That's the plan. I want to move the missile away. And we do want that Jupiter drone somewhere useful here. Okay, I think I'm gonna start by moving over one. Because I wanna line up with this, and then I'm gonna use this to block. But let's first, this is also weak. So my plan here is to maximize damage. Uh, Maybe I go three spaces. I think I go... Oh, that makes the other missile hit me now. I don't want to do that. We can do this in... Um... I need this guy to not cock block me, though. I think I'm just going to take this missile. 
Is there a better way to do this? Uh, I want to do lots of damage here, and I want my Jupiter drone doing lots of damage here. Let's see. The only way I can think of to do that is to move these nerds over twice. One here, one here. That blocks the two there, which I like. We're taking two here, but whatever. Now the Jupiter drone will come in hot. And when I use Multi Blast, better than Wave Beam here. Yeah, I use Multi Blast. Jupiter Drone will also Multi Blast, and the combined damage will be pretty nice. Yeah, there we go. All right, I think that was good to get that big damage in right now. Um, next object you launch will have a Bubble Shield. So let's just play Shield Surge. We can also simply sidestep by one here, which I guess is probably the play. Is it better to use one of these or to just take two? Well, we have two temporary armor, so it's better to just take... Oh, that one does three. It's a heavy missile, but maybe that's okay. Maybe that's okay. Or we just use one of our evade. The thing is, is, we have very limited potential to generate evade in this deck, whereas we have a lot of potential to generate shield. Uh, I'll keep the evade. Alright. Um, getting the squad out on the brittle section would be quite nice. If I could line them up like this, and it would just eliminate both those. Unfortunately, we don't have any movement anymore, so we're pretty limited in that regard. Um, we mostly just have DPS again. I don't want to get too deep into here and then get annihilated, but what if I... What's a, good, what's a smart way to do this? I think the safe way to do is just sidestep a little bit to the left and call it a day there. I just... I slide step one to the left, we're pretty safe. On the other hand, <laughs> if I want to YOLO this shit. Hmm. I can also play block shot here and draw a card. It's not the worst idea. If I, if I move a bit to the right, I can... Uh, Squads, I can get the squad out. Not in not in ideal places though. Because I need the squad to block the four if we go that route. But maybe it's worth it. I would have to get the squad one of the squads would waste its shots. And the other one would be hitting here, which is okay damage. And it would block the four for me. But then I would have the opportunity to wave charge and or multi-shot cannon for more big damage. So the combined total damage we deal there would be pretty nice. How would I want to, if I wanted to do that, I would have to use, let's see how many evades. Um, I would have to scooch uh, one, two. I'd have to scooch one, two, use the squad, and then three. So I would use three evade use for that strap for bigger damage. Um, YOLO. <laughs> I'm gonna go for it. Uh, one, two, get the squad. Now the squad blocks for me, which I needed. It would have been nice to put the squad somewhere else, but maybe I could have just put the squad here and there, and that would have been better, and then just used my glissade and all my evade to go back. In the long term, that might have been a better strategy, but um, I don't know. I don't mind them positioned like this either, because now I get to do good damage. What do I have here? Less energy, right, 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 that's fine. So now I get to come here, and I'm not taking, I'm not gonna take hardly any damage, because we're gonna stop this one from attacking, and we're, we're positioned right here to do brittle double damage. What's the best way to do that? Um, I can do a four damaging, probably the four damage wave beam. Right. Unless I really wanna generate some temporary shields. 
do the extra damage. Four damage wave beam. And I can also you it I can also do a block shot to, Oh no I can't, never mind. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Okay. But yeah, then these guys also do a bunch of damage. And then it takes two damage from the corrode. Good. Alright, gotta be a little careful here. Yeah, this game is good. Alright, it's now to 23 health, which is nice. But we're in need of some shield drones. Um, uh, maybe we scatter here? I can also just scoot over... I could scoot over one, drop a shield drone. I think that's a good play. Not actually scoot. <laughs> I think I move one, drop a bubbled shield, and then take my one right here and save my dodge for later. I will store a dodge here because we might need it later and just take the one. The shield drone will heal it up. And we're still doing damage to it. We're still doing decent damage to it. Takes two from the corrode. Honestly, this brittle thing was huge. I feel like that was huge. Mm. Um, do I have a blocker? My energy drone can block for me if I move over one. But I don't have any good attacking options. I can move one to the left instead. I can move on to the left and then lunge just to do some extra damage. I can also just parallel shift some nerds over. Hit this parallel shift. I don't have the bubble on the energy drone upgrade, right? Is there an advantage here to using lunge? anywhere else. I don't think so. The luck of having the brittle spot be concussible is huge, right? I'm thinking about moving one to the left, lunging back to the concussible spot, and then just chump blocking the energy drone. <laughs> uh, or maybe instead of the energy drone, I'll get this guy in the mix so it's actually hitting this guy. Chump block the shield drone. Yeah, that might be better. Let's go here. Lunge back. Nice, my Jupiter drone is doing good damage. Um, send in an energy drone, but actually play parallel shift. Because this will this will cancel this hit, so I save an extra drone doing that, and it's more damage because that drone cancels that guy from attacking. We get lots of shield coming in. Corrosion is cooking right now. Oh, we can just EMP this shit too. Let's go. Can I get a hot multi blast? Can we get a GG here with multi blast? I might be able to. Um, I have three movement. One, two, three is exactly the amount of movement that I need using Glissade and my one movement. Uh, to just go straight there. It has 11 health. Multi-blast hits for eight. That's GG. Right? Any buffs or things that I'm not looking at? Don't you bubble. We use this. on over here. I can even drop a bubbled attack drone for funsies, but all I need to do is multi-blast this nerd. Boom. Let's go. You are growing stronger. Who shall it be this time? Uh, maybe I should learn more Isaac stuff. Let's learn some Isaac backstory. Whoa, this is just like my dream! Tell me about this dream. 
In the dream, I'm saving all my friends and I have a cool sword. This dream of yours is unrelated. Wow. Get wrecked, nerd. Can we get Drake now? Yeah, hired mercenary. Her cards are strong attacks and status effects, but be careful not to overheat. All right, well. We've unlocked Isaac's memory. Let's see what we got. T minus two, one, eight days. Dizzy, your new assistant starts today. Hello, sir. I'm Isaac, drone specialist. Sir? Assistant? Forget all that. We don't have titles here. I absolutely have a title. I'm security officer. Yeah, she stands in the corner with a big cool gun to make sure no bad guys steal the core. Correct. In all serious though, she's here to keep us safe. The mission statement only specifies uh, the core. Personnel are considered expendable. Huh. Okay, didn't know that. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Anyways, uh, welcome aboard, Isaac. I'll do my best not to be. Ex I'll do my best not to be expendable. Sick. Nice. We beat it on hard. Well, that was fun. That deck felt very viable as well, especially because I messed it up multiple times and we were still pretty good. The battalion ended up not being like as good as the the upgraded striker squadron with bubbles are just chonking out four damage a turn and having big old bubbles also taking a couple attacks really helped out with the jupiter drone that was fun i liked it and now we've got two of 18 memories unlocked a much bigger chunk of the rest of this nice we got a new character deck drake's deck we also got a new ship the Ares. Ooh. So now we have the Ares, a nimble warship with two cannons, which are manually toggled. Interesting. In order to unlock the next ship, we need 40 different artifacts, which we have 23 of. Um, and we need to do a run without any of the starters to unlock this ship, which we are almost able to do. We need to unlock a new character. This Kermit will invite herself aboard eventually. Don't worry about it. And I don't even know about the other character. Win 10 rounds to unlock this ship. Cool. All right, well, this game was a lot of fun. Congrats on a win, but so little evasion. Doable, but definitely a lot harder. Yeah, the uh, I definitely had to think more with that build <laughs> to some extent. Though in both cases, stalling with poison has really paid dividends for me. Which probably means you should worry about it. Yeah, the pixel art style is great. Um, I don't think there's any uh, reason as far as unlocks go to play on anything harder than hard mode right now. So I don't think I'll bump the difficulty up to har harder until we've unlocked everything and there's like nothing left to do. I don't see a point. Show memories. Win a run with Drake. So as soon as we um, win a run with Drake, then we get Max. Cool. Oh, okay. It tells me that right there. So we definitely want to do Drake next time. Which character are we going to be okay without? This is like more attacks. Maybe we... Hmm. Strong attacks and status effects, but has a risk of overheating. Maybe we get rid of Perry. Probably we get rid of Isaac. I don't know. Okay, we have we have some defense, we have some attacks, but with some care to be taken. And then we I think we either throw in more attacks and move. let's just try like high high attack. High attack instant movement. Maybe that'd be a fun way to play. Oh, Drake is a good replacement for Perry. Alright, we can go back to Riggs then. But I don't want to do another Isaac run right now just because I did so many drones already. I could use missiles, though. I could do missiles instead. But I think let's try this. With the Ares, a nimble warship. Yeah, I figure Drake with the Ares is good. Oh, no, boss. Oh, I need to go. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for hanging out, everybody. This game is really fun. 